Welcome in. <laughs> Happy Monday. Hi, Lumen. Hi, Langor. Hamhawk, Aki. Uh, Alba, how you doing? Andrew, thank you for being here. Welcome in. Happy Monday, everybody. It's going to rain again. It's going to rain again, chat. Uh, yesterday, it was raining off and on, and the internet was garbage. Um, but today, I got the internet outside of the window until the rain starts. I don't know what's going to happen when that happens. So we're going to try our best again today to deal with the internet issues when it rains. Um, it's supposed to start at around 2, 1.30, 2 o'clock or something like that. And it's not a big one. Uh, so we might be good today. It's just a real quick one. Probably going to get dumped on. Uh, and then it's going to go away. So hopefully, let's, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best today. Um, happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I got a lot to do today. Yesterday, we had a great day. Uh... It's La Primavera. Yeah, uh, Primavera is on the catering menu this weekend on Saturday. Primavera. <laughs> it's the zoo <laughs> for me. What up, man? Hey, what up, Double? You didn't miss anything. We just did a fuck. We just did a little stank face, dude. Men's and don't creep me. Stank face me. <laughs> Hi, Aki. I don't know where the chicken is. <laughs> yeah, we, um, hey, what up, Peru? Good to see you as well. Minja, thank you for being here. Happy Monday, everybody. Minja, I'm sorry you got to go back to work. Where's the chicken? Here. I found it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Happy Monday. Fan for good internet. Yeah, yesterday, um, yesterday we still got a good amount done. Honestly, I was done by ten thirty. Uh, getting everything wrapped up, put away. We ended up getting about three hundred meatballs yesterday, which was five full trays. Um, and then we had to get them all cooked off, and then we had to let them all cool down. Then we had to get them all wrapped and labeled and put away. So. Probably about 10.30-ish. I had a lot of dishes yesterday, though, so that kept me busy. Um, I feel if stream would have kept going, I probably wouldn't have been done until 12.30. <laughs> so, in a way, I did get a good couple hours of just, like, you know, not work time. Um, but, yeah, we, we still got a good amount done. I got the, uh, the meatballs all finished, done, put away, and I got the sausage made. They both turned out great. I made uh, tasters of each of them yesterday. Uh, the sausage is made, seasoned up, ground up, sitting in the refrigerator. Uh, there's a fly, but I think it's outside. Uh, so today we're going to be casing some sausage. I'm going to get marinara working, and I got the smoker. Uh, what up, new? Hi, Kay. Hi, Noob. I like how you played this the other day when the fireman came to the truck. I thought that was pretty funny. I was like, wait, that ain't the popo, dude. That's the fireman. Um, hi, Kay. How are you? I hope you're uh, you're okay. Krem told me all all the all the stuffs, but uh, I appreciate you. It's good to see you today. So you're calling a distraction? It's calling us a distraction? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it probably would have took me forever yesterday. Uh, hey, what up, Kev? Life is good, dude. Life is good. We're um we're pretty busy. Hi, better. How are you? Welcome in, Daniel. Welcome in. Ham Hawk, always welcome in. You've been applying for jobs all day. Yeah, I mean, hey, you'll find a job. Uh, and you got, you're you're so young. You're gonna have like ten more jobs before you're my age. <laughs> so uh, it is what it is. I know, I know, you really like that place. And it, what sucks is they led you on in a way, to where then when it finally opened, they were like, well, now we gotta let you go. But um, 
because it doesn't matter because you still went to the farmer's market. Uh, you did your thing there. You got that going for you right now. Um, you'll get a job easy. You'll get a job easy. Yeah, I, I seen. I seen the picture, Kev. That's good, dude. We um we hired a new guy last week. I don't know um if you see my YouTube videos, but uh last Friday, a couple streams ago, uh we had a new guy on the truck, and it went really well, Kev. Uh, easy to train. His name's Kyle. He streams on Twitch. Uh, exclamation point Kyle in chat. And um, yeah, it was nice to have somebody on the truck. We were we were cranking out tickets, so that was good. And um, this week we'll be here on Thursday and Saturday. Kyle's going to be working with us Thursday and Saturday this week. Uh, Saturday we had a change. We canceled an apartment job and we're going to go do a car show. So that should be cool. I'll make sure we have the outside camera. And uh, I don't know how far we're going to be able to go, but or what it's going to be like. But we're going to be doing a car show on Saturday. I think it starts at 4. Also, Saturday, we have a catering job in the morning. Uh, so Friday and Saturday, I'll be prepping in the morning while I'm heating up the truck for our jobs. Friday and Saturday, I'll be uh, working on the catering job for Saturday morning. And then Saturday afternoon, we're going to be at a car show. So we're going to have a busy weekend. We got Kyle with us a couple days. Um, yeah. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well. Car shows would be good money. Yeah, you never know. This is their first one. This is their first one. So, you know, it might take a while, but we're going to... Apparently, they want us to be the truck. Maybe if it's real big, they'll start having a few trucks. I don't know. But um, we'll find out what happens on Saturday. I'm hoping that it's okay. If, if not, uh, you know, we'll still give it another couple shots whenever they come around. But yeah, I agree. Usually, they're pretty busy. Usually they're pretty busy. I just don't know how, like, the first one goes of, of a new car show uh, at a new place, you know? You might be swamped. Hey, that's why we got Kyle. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, we'll probably run out of food before we get swamped. Um, yeah, thank you, noob, for that. Yeah, Matt's a great guy. Just don't click on any links, chat. I was talking about burgers. Don't trust him. <laughs> I don't even know if he's here. Is he here? I might have missed his name. Uh... Fingers crossed. Um, all right, so I got the smoker going right now. Well, I got charcoal going right now, so we got a few minutes on that. Um, but the specials this week, I got a... I, I ground up a lot of meat yesterday. I think I, I cut up and ground about 60 pounds of meat yesterday. Uh, I did save one pork butt, bone-in pork butt, or pork shoulder, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be the special this weekend, so when it's gone, it's gone. Um, what I'm going to do with this shoulder today i can't wait to uh unwrap it i can't wait to unwrap it so yesterday i had some italian and herb bouillon paste uh it's kind of like beef bouillon chicken bouillon but it was italian and herb and it's like super concentrated italian paste and i smeared the rest of it i only had a little bit left but i smeared it all over this pork butt and then i covered it in butt rub exclamation point human in chat, just in case. Uh, it is TOS. We can't talk about uh, what you do with the butt rub when you have the butt rub. That is on you. Uh, so, yeah, we did Italian herb seasoning and butt rub on this guy. So, we're going to get it on the smoker today. Um, and then, also, I got some bananas. I got some bananas. So, when we get the pork butt on, we'll get the bananas on. And uh, I just want to put some type of smoke on them. And then we can cool them down, and then we're going to make the banana cannoli ice cream. Banana cannoli ice cream. Smoked banana cannoli ice cream uh, for the special this weekend, for the dessert special. So um, it should be cool. The cannoli part, I'm going to put some cannoli cream in it when we make it the smoked bananas, and then we'll crumble up a cannoli shell when we scoop it into the cup. So to have, like, the little cannoli bits and pieces mixed in with it. But we'll do that when we scoop it. I don't want to do it when I make the ice cream. Just in case, like, they get soggy after, you know, a couple days or whatnot of sitting in the freezer. Uh, so we'll, we'll just grab a cannoli shell when we sell one and crumble it up when I'm scooping it in there, and it should be good. So smoked banana cannoli ice cream, the... uh 
the smoked Italian pork butt. We're going to do a sandwich special with that. I got some chili garlic oil, like the crunchy chili garlic oil stuff that you can get from the Asian section of the grocery store. Um, I'm going to get some broccoli rabe, which is like a longer stalk of broccoli. And I'm going to toss the broccoli rabe with the chili garlic oil after we grill it off. That's going to go inside of the sandwich with the smoked pork and mozzarella cheese. Uh, also, when I'm shredding up the pork after it smokes, I made some jar jardinara a couple weeks ago, like the pickled celery, carrot, bell peppers that, that we did for an Italian beef sandwich. I'm thinking about taking those and pureeing them up and mixing that in with the pork after I shred it to give it that Italian pulled pork kind of thing. The seasoning on the outside of it and then like having all that jardinara in there like mixed in with it, I think will give it a nice flavor. Reminiscent of like an Italian beef, but it's going to be smoked pork instead. And then that nice long piece of broccoli rob with the spicy chili crunchy garlic oil stuff, mozzarella cheese. It's going to be a banging ass special. It's going to be a good sandwich. And uh, I'm really intrigued on the ice cream too. So um, the plan today is marinara, get the pork in, smoke the bananas case some sausage, cook the sausage, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, if we don't get to anything else after that today, tomorrow I go pick up my order. Tomorrow's going to be a big pasta day. I got one nice size pasta ball that we can start with, uh, but I think I'm going to make another two balls tomorrow. Uh, and then while those are in the cooler chilling out, we can start rolling out the other one. And we'll probably just do some type of noodles this week. We've been doing cavatelli the last couple of weeks with the new machine. I do have three orders of cavatelli left that we're going to sell first. But after that, we'll go into some type of noodle. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a thicker noodle tomorrow, almost like a paperdel somewhere. Maybe around like this, this thick. Just make like a wide noodle. Um, and that's that. That's the plan for the next couple of days. So that's the plan for the next couple of days. Hi, Hedge. How are you? Happy Monday. Good to see you. Um, also, chat, today I stopped up, saw Michelle. She's very nervous. You could see it on her face. Um, she has her driver's test today. So she hasn't had her license since, since she's been here in the States. Uh, so today she has her driver's test. She's kind of nervous. Um, she doesn't speak a lot of English that well. So uh, she's hoping she gets somebody that can speak Spanish. So to make it a little bit easier when she drives around. Uh, I gave her a lucky chicken. It was a little chicken that I got from Texas Hula's that they were putting all over the place. Uh, and she gave me a Cuban coin a couple weeks ago that I've had in my pocket. And uh, I gave her back the coin today. <laughs> and told her it's a lucky coin. And uh, I got it from somebody pretty cool. And good luck. So you could definitely tell she was nervous today. Um, so hopefully all that goes well with her today as well. So, um, I did get a taco though. I got deshi brata, which is the shredded beef. And then I had her put some rice on it today. Usually I just get the beans, uh, but I got beans and rice with it today and it was pretty fire. Oh, and we mailed out all the giveaways. Creme mailed out a bunch of creme delish today. I mailed out the beanie and the socks. Funny thing is Dixie socks have a, a schmear on it of either barbecue sauce or something marinara. There's already a stain on her socks, and they're white. Uh, that's what you get. Um, and I mailed out Rui's uh, bracelet and uh, apron. So I got all those mailed out today. Um, you could blend up a few shells beforehand and just leave the sprinkle on top. Less work during service. You, you don't think it would be weird soggy, Minja? What do you guys think, other than Minja? Because I know, now, now, beaver nuggets are different. Beaver nuggets are different. But when I made the Bucky's Beaver Nugget ice cream, and I put some beaver nuggets in it, a few days later, it tasted like you were almost eating, like, packing peanuts when you are eating the ice cream. They, like, lost all their crispiness. Um, now, I know the cannoli shells aren't that texture. Um... But what else do you guys think? I mean, I don't mind crumbling some in there when we're making it. I think it's a cool idea. I was going to do it, but then I thought about the Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. And I was like, man, it was kind of weird having that, like, weird chewiness. But, because, you know, another thing I'm putting in there, Minja, as well, is uh, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips go in the cannoli. So there's going to be a little bit of mini chocolate chips in there when we're mixing the smoked bananas. And uh, it'd be no big deal to crumble up a damn cannoli shell, you know?
Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Uh... Hi, Marino, Montana. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. I was going to look around and see if there was, like, another person you were talking about. Uh... <laughs> hey, what up here? Good to see you, dude. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Ah, shut up in your face. Welcome in, man. Hello. All right, so that's the plan for the next couple days. Uh, let's get on it, dude. We got the charcoal, charcoalin. Looks pretty smoky, but I still think it needs a little bit more time. Uh, we, oop, wrong camera. We might have time to, uh, we got the pork butt here waiting. We got the bananas here we can peel. Uh, I want to get working on the marinara while we wait. So let me uh, cut up a couple onions. By the time we get done cutting the onions and some garlic, I think the charcoal should be ready. We'll get the pork butt on there. We'll get the bananas on there. And uh, we should be good to go. Thank you, noob. Uh, we know that there are many great hospital research institutes and charities in your community that also deserve and need your support. At St. Jude, we're all three. The innovative, the innovative and collaborative work that we are doing at St. Jude is actually ha helping to improve the standard of care for children everywhere, even your local hospitals. Facts. Thank you, noob. Yeah, chat, we're at $5,051 so far for St. Jude. We're over a million dollars for St. Jude Play Live already between all the campaigns that are currently live raising money for St. Jude Play Live right now. We passed a million dollars a couple days ago as a whole, which is pretty sweet. So you guys are doing great. And we've provided 5,000 of that, which is huge. Which is huge. We do have a uh, charity incentive at 55. We've already had a bunch of giveaways, but at 5,500, Kyle and I are going to be wearing kilts on stream while we cook. And we're giving away another St. Jude bracelet. Uh, like the ones I wear. And that's at 5,500. I think we can get there by the end of the month. Still got, what, a couple weeks? I think we'll be good. We'll be wearing a kilt sometime. I think before the end of the month. And we are in a donation matching challenge. That red bar there means every dollar donated is doubled. Which is a good thing. Yesterday we got 300 meatballs, which is pretty good. Also, I'm excited for the catering job this Saturday. I'm hoping they like everything and they leave us a great review. Uh, that should really help. Because so far on More Than Pasta, on Google, if you look it up, you know, we got like 60-something reviews. Um, but they're all for like when we were at apartments or whatnot and on the truck. I'd like to get some catering reviews on there, you know? So I'm hoping these people uh, leave us a good catering review. Well, we got to nail it first. We got to nail it first. Uh, yo, there's an anonymous dollar. Thank you, anonymous, for the dollar donation. Uh, hey, there's a rock star. Happy Monday.
<laughs> Happy Monday? I don't know what that was. I know that charcoal out there smells great. Can't wait till there's meat on it. I'm not really sure how many portions we're going to get out of this butt after I take the bone out of it and some of the fat off of it, but if we sell out, that's good. I'm thinking we'll probably get like, I'm hoping eight, nine. Not sure yet. Hopefully we get eight or nine portions. That should be plenty of onion. Ugh. Oh! Oh! Yo, double! Hell yeah. Double. Uh, thank you for the dollar donation as well. Uh, both of those dollar donations actually turn out to be four dollars total. Was there a message? <laughs> Double coming in with a dollar donation. The message says, meep, meep. Thank you, Double. Do you like the when people follow noise? It's been that forever. I haven't changed it forever. We used to have a lot of different um, raid things and start soon noises and screens and different follower alerts. A lot of them had to do with the Muppets for a couple years. Rockstar made a song about one of ours. I think the, the Rockstar command... Yeah, that one I think was our host when somebody hosted us, but now there's no more hosting. On Twitch, at least. Moving right along. <laughs> but the meat meat is the one that's made it the longest. Meat meat. Moving right along. <laughs> uh let's chop that cancer out dude beer i get it i get it i get it that's what we're trying to do hey it's awesome we're over a million dollars on the month so far so that's huge uh charcoal it's looking a little gray there's a lot of black on top though I think I should leave it out for a little bit longer. Still a good amount of black on top. Smells good, though. So apparently someone who's been on the site since 2014 got their panties a bunch when I made the blanket statement uh, that if they're about looking to cause mischief, to F off. Oh, you're still about, yeah, all the shit that's going on with your shit yesterday. Um... So love the dancing, uh, the enthusiasm you always bring to stream. Uh, the fact that you have raised so much money for charity is amazing. No other streamer in the food category, truthfully. <laughs> Montana, I appreciate that. There, There is a lot of uh, great people out there doing great things. Uh, I'm just blessed uh, to have the community that I have around me that care about the things that I care about. And um, want to do something greater than themselves, you know. There's a lot of people out there you know, raising a lot more than us. Um, thank you for the follow, uh, Heather. But the thing, Montana, that's the most important to think about that I always tell everybody, but thank you for the kind words. And, and I really do appreciate you, and that means a lot. Um, the thing that really matters, though, all, there are a lot of people that are raising, like, you know, millions. Uh as a community, like this year, Team Center Stage, they do a lot of just dancing. And every year, they're always on top of the board. They, they passed a million this year as a team. Uh, their leader, Little Seha, she's our, she passed over 500,000 uh, this year, too. So, uh, I mean, there's a, a lot of people out there doing big things, big numbers. It's not all about the numbers, though. And, and you know, but I'm just, I'm just making a statement. It's not about how much we raise. It's the fact that we're out here trying 
and, and we're sharing and we're inspiring and we're educating. It, that's the most important. Um, I am very happy and I'm very proud of our numbers because we do have a tiny little community and food and drink is not a big category and we have done probably the most for any food and drink streamer, yes. But, um, you know, it's not all about that in the end and the fact that we get to share this together and just have awesome moments daily um, and we hear good stories and bad stories daily. Um, that's what's the most important, you know. That's what's the most important. But thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate that. And that's why we started Good Cause Crusaders. Uh, GoodCauseCrusaders.com. Anybody is welcome to sign up to the team. I can help you make a Tiltify campaign. You can join our team. You can raise money yourself. You don't have to be a streamer to help. We're here to help everyone. Right? I don't want to put it in a streamer category. Only streamers can raise money. There's a lot of people that come into this channel that want to donate that can't afford to help, but they can amplify our campaign with the link in chat, or they can join our goodcauseforsaders.com team. Uh, I can help them make a Tiltify account. They can raise their own money for our team um, and help us get closer to $500,000. We're only about 100000 away. Um, so it takes all of us to make it happen, and then the, the money will come, right? Like, the numbers will come. The more people we can rally, the more people we can inspire, the more people we get out there raising money for something that they believe in and they want to fight for, uh, I feel the is, is the whole point of our charity team and what Good Cause Crusaders is all about. And uh, there's not a lot of things in this world left that can bring everybody together, but there is one thing that I can guarantee, and that is uh, children dying of cancer. I think we can all agree all over the world that that's a fucked up thing and it's shitty. And even every dollar that we raise is going to help that go away. I, I think that's something that we can all fight for worldwide. And there's not a lot of things left like that, right? So um, it's an easy thing to do because we can get a lot of people involved with it because nobody wants to see a, a kid die, uh, especially their own, you know, or your cousin or your brother. Um, so the charity part's the easy part. The hard part is getting all of you involved, signing up making a campaign, amplifying our campaign. Uh, so then we can do more than donations, you know? The donations are great, but if we have more people out there talking about it, uh, the more money all around we can we can make happen, you know? Um, hi, Heather, nice to meet you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for the kind words as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, know, I know Montana, I know. I appreciate the kind words. Hi, Karen, how are you? Uh, it was honestly, it was just the storms yesterday. There really wasn't I can, nothing I can fix. Today, it's going to rain again in about a half hour. So we might drop stream again, uh, which sucks. The problem is the router is, right now the router is outside the window, so we have four bars. When it rains, I have to bring it in and I got to close the window. So then we go down to like two bars and then it's, it's just hard to stream. And it's supposed to rain again. Uh, which it's going to be a smaller storm though. So I'm thinking maybe 45 minutes or something, half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, so today, if we do go down, most likely I will start back up. Um, but yeah, not, nothing we can really do. It's, it's, it's like a metal box and the router just can't reach signal inside the metal box, you know? Uh, hi, Krem. What up down South? Good to see you, bud. Welcome in. Welcome in. So yeah, we got marinara going right now. Uh, the charcoal is almost ready. Well, we got mar we're starting marinara right now. I just got to cut a little bit more garlic. I had some left over from yesterday that I can use, but this is not enough garlic. I mean, probably it is, but you know we're Italian, dude. This is not enough garlic. Yeah, it's like a giant Faraday cage. Yeah. So it's hard for, uh, you know, when it's raining like that to have it in here. But yesterday, I just had so much to do between, you know, I, like I said, I didn't even finish till 1030. And that was off a of stream. So if I was on stream, we would have been streaming past midnight. But we did get a lot of progress. 300 meatballs is good. All the sausage is good. I mean, I had to cut 60 pounds of meat, even more, 65 pounds of meat. And then I had to grind it all. 
And then I had to make all the meatballs, like standing there balling meatballs. And then you can't just ball and put them on the tray. Then you got to arrange them on the tray. And it's like fucking so much. <laughs> and then the dishes, dude. Grinding and meatball day, the dishes are ridiculous. It was a big boy day yesterday. Yeah. We got about 20 minutes. I, that's why I want the charcoal to hurry up. It's almost done. That way I can at least get the pork in there, and then I can just keep adding charcoal throughout the day. It's going to cool it down a little bit when it rains, but... Still sh should be good. I mean, we have nothing but time for the pork butt, so... You know, it doesn't matter if we take it out off a stream or not. It's probably going to take 8 to 10 hours for this damn thing to cook. Okay, garlic, onions. Never enough garlic. I know, Double. I know. Uh, what if you seal it in Tupperware? <laughs> I, <laughs> I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. I don't think it'll work. I appreciate it, though. Feels pretty good. Oh, Krem, I saved you some. They're down here. I think I ate like five. Honey bun mini donuts, bro. They were reduced. Dollar, they were on sale. You had to buy them. Dollar 39. See that down south? You had to buy them. Honey bun. Mini donuts. The one thing about them, there's a lot of glaze on there. The one thing about them is they put weird film on your teeth. But they're good. I saved like six for them. There were trying, especially on sale, dude. Can you? You can't beat sales. Why are you guys so low, dude? It's really hot over here. Oh, there you are. I got honey buns in there. I saved you honey bun donuts. Yeah. I need a poker chat. Gotta poke it. Gotta do a little rooting around in here. That feels pretty hot. This back corner didn't light. It's hot. That damn back corner, dude. I think I can get it in there, but it's like, uh. I'll wait another, like, five minutes. Let's see if this corner goes. Let's 
see if she goes. Uh, today, my dad wanted to go to the grocery uh, shop food, but I stopped him because there were enough minced meat to feed five people in there. <laughs> Good job, Karen. <laughs> Get them leftovers going. Uh, Down South only does catnip and cat treats now. No honey buns. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I like catnip. Uh, I just don't like cat treats. Strongest portion of the storm heading your way up here at Southwest Houston moving in. Two hours worth? Shit, I was hoping like 45 seconds. I was hoping you didn't see that. You only eat cat treats? What do you mean, dude? You don't eat a honey bun? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, dude? Do they make honey bun flavored cat treats? Hey, I like catnip. I ain't got I ain't got nothing to say about that. Whatever works, bro. Whatever your crutch is. Uh Okay. That usually happens every time. I got bad hands. And they're not even wet. Uh, good day. Hey, what up, Rattler? How you doing? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We're getting marinara started first, because once that's on and going, you don't really have to mess with it other than stir it. So we're going to knock that out first thing. We got onions and garlic already done. In the pan. Cooked down. Each one of these cans are six pounds. We're gonna be doing four cans. But, I'm not gonna be using the juice from two of them. Minty butt, minty butt. Uh, I have to go find an extension cord for the smoker real quick. I just realized I got to get the the smoker extension cord and the thing plugged in. I'm just going to use the cord from the truck because I need the other extension cord for the uh, sausage stuffer. Stuffer. Oh, have a... Stuffer. We'll keep the power part inside in case it rains. And then we plug this part in.
Hot. 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 I think that sucker is pretty much ready, dude. I think she's pretty much ready. We're going for it. There's a lot of gray in there. I know the feeling. And I'm ready. Okay. Whoo! Still leave it open so some air can get in there for a second. Yeah, this thing's probably going to take eight hours, I would say. Bananas will probably only take an hour. Bananas don't take a long time to smoke. I just want some smoky flavor on them. Last time I smoked, I felt a little funny. That's a good thing. That's what you want. This thing is thick in butt rub. This thing is rich. Thick and rich in butt rub. Oh, my Lord. It has the Italian and herb bouillon all over it. It smells so good. It smells so good. It sat overnight. Look at that juice. Oh, there's a bone. It has that, like, Italian and herb butt rub smell going on. It's good. Yeah, we did uh, Italian and herb. Uh, st still not enough for my mom. We did. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, the butt rub. I just sent you some. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> this shit's dripping down my arm, chat. I just sent you butt rub. Your mom be your your mom physically is snorting it when you're not looking, Minja. She might have an issue. It's on my It's everywhere. All right. Looks good. Smells great. I think it's going to get a lot of flavor from the bouillon for sure. Because that stuff's strong. That stuff is very strong. I'm not going to close it yet. I got to get bananas in there. But I'm going to put the bananas in a pan. Because they're going to get real soft. Soft. They go get soft. I need to wipe my my shoulder off. Acid blade. Hey, good to see you, acid blade. I hate watching your stream because I always uh, hungry afterwards. <laughs> Sorry, bud. That pork butt's gonna be for the special. Did you hear what's going on? It did. Did you hear what's going on the special? So it's gonna be Italian smoked pork sandwich, and I rub that pork butt with the Italian and herb bouillon, which is like a paste, and my butt rub, and then. I got some homemade jardinara in there that I made a couple weeks ago, which is like pickled celery, carrots, 
spicy peppers. Uh, it, it goes on an Italian beef sandwich, usually. Uh, so I'm going to grind that up and mix it in with the pork when I shred it to give it that, like, Italian beef, but pork flavor plus all the Italian herb bouillon on the outside of it. And then I got some broccoli rabe, which is like a longer stem of broccoli that I'm going to toss in that chili garlic crunchy oil stuff that you get in the Asian aisle. And um, so it's going to be like little chili garlic broccoli rabe on the sandwich with uh, mozzarella cheese. It's going to be a very good pulled pork sandwich. I only got the one butt because all the other meat yesterday I ground up. So I only got the one. Which means, you know, I'm hoping to get maybe eight specials. Nine, eight. We'll find out. Hi, Kenny. Thank you for sharing in Discord today, bud. That all that sounded really good. Good to see you, man. Thank you, Minja. Uh, what up, Peter? Uh, it was pretty rough, but thank you. Yeah, we were without power and water for two days last week. We had to cancel a bunch of jobs, a couple jobs. Um... Basically, we had to cancel the whole weekend, all of our jobs. We ended up going out on on a Saturday last week, though, but we just went to some random parking lot to try to... I think we did, like, th four tickets or something, five tickets. But, yeah, we got power back. We got water back. There was a lot of flooding. We had no tornadoes, though. We had no tornadoes. We got pretty lucky, especially with the flooding, too. A lot of neighbors and family... Their house flooded. We we got pretty lucky. Chad, I almost made the worst mistake you can make as a streamer on Twitch. I almost bit into this banana. The way that you would do if you weren't streaming. But when you're streaming, you can't just bite into a banana like that. It was like almost in and I had to pull it back out. Because uh, you guys are sick. Can't even eat a banana right. Thank you, Rattler. I'm not putting it in that way. I refuse to eat a banana the right way on stream. Bananas on stream get eaten sideways. Everyone knows the rules. Like a taco. See your last. What up, engine? All the healthy stuff. Do you sell your seasoning rub? Yeah, Heather. Uh, on my website, chefsteep33.tv. Butt rub is $25 for the pound plus shipping, which is usually like eight bucks. Well worth it. The pound lasts a good amount of time. Depends on how much you use. It comes in a sealed pack and I give you a sticker. I can show you the sticker when we go inside. And if you got an empty shaker bottle, just put that sticker on it and put the butt rub in there. I'm getting ready to make more too, but uh, I got one pound here still that I, could, I can send out this week if you order it today. And then I'll be making more probably next week because I got such a busy schedule this week. You can order at any time, though. And it's really good. We've sold over 120 pounds since I've been making it on, on Twitch. Everybody likes it. And it's not just for, like, pork or brisket. You can use it on chicken, fish, potatoes, veggies, popcorn, crackers, uh, cookies, ice cream. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, uh, all right, Rockstar, I will check that out. Thank you. 
I want to see you eat a taco from the side like that. <laughs> that tells me a lot about you, Ninja. You want to see me eat a taco? Hmm. I knew you cared about me. Ninja, next time we next time we make tacos, I'll make sure you're here. Benignus. Benignus. It's getting dark, guys. Stream might be fucked. It doesn't look dark on camera, but it's getting dark. I don't know how smoked banana cannoli ice cream is going to be, but how can it be bad? That's how I look at it. How can it be bad? I need a new one of these, but they're like 150 bucks. Can't read any of it. Hey, there we go. Okay. I don't know what I set it to, but Elisa's blowing. She's a blowing. I've been having issues with these things. It doesn't think the door's closed. So I'm sure I can replace these sensors. And then I can't read the screen anymore. But it's cool because it's all charcoal and wood. Uh, but there's a fan that you can kick on. Because usually with just the charcoal and wood, you can only get to about like 200 maybe uh, in there. I guess you could get it really hot if, I don't know. You'd have to have a lot of charcoal. Uh, but with the fan, I can get this thing all the way to 400 if I want to. Which is pretty insane. Look, we put a bag on it, but when it starts raining, I got to bring this inside. When it starts raining, I got to bring it inside, chat. Unfortunate. Uh, all right. Let's get this marinara finished. Before it starts pouring, and then we can go inside and work on sausage. We got a case. Uh, I don't even know. Probably 20 pounds. Well, five pounds of it I got to take out for Sunday gravy. What up, Maya? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Commander, thank you for the pat pat. Sorry the bot's broken. Let me uh, try to refresh it. Hi, Michael, how are you? Welcome in, Maya. Good to see you, brother. Love you, man. 
Truly Dark Engine says, oh, we're going to get it. It's going to storm, bud. We're probably going to lose stream for a little bit. But I'll try to start stream back up. We might be down for a half hour, hour, I don't know. Uh, mix the rub with some tomato MSG and put that on the pork. Your PP will fall off. <laughs> I'm out of tomato MSG, actually. <laughs> All right, let's check out Rockstar's uh, daughter real quick. He said he sent me a picture in Discord. And then, uh, Chad, I really, I got to get working. I got shit to do. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar sent me a picture of his daughter. Um, they went to Hibachi for Mother's Day the other day, and you know, in the big ball of fire, they do like the the big fire flame. He took a picture of his daughter's face. It was pretty funny. She was like, you could tell her face was like, oh shit, what was that? Daddy, you didn't tell me there was going to be fire. <laughs> it's 85 out where you are. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the temperature here, other than the rainstorm, which sucks, is, uh, like 85, but it feels like 100, it says, because of all the humidity. My shirt is soaked. I don't know how long I've been out here. Well, I had to go to the store, mail a bunch of giveaway stuff. I mailed your hat today. I mean, I've been out for the last few hours in this, but my shirt's completely soaked. It is very humid today. It feels like 100, even with no sun. If the sun was out, it would be worse. All right, I'll see you in about five minutes, chat. I'm going to squeeze tomatoes for the next 20 minutes. Scroll up to my message before going dark. Okay. Nasty storm and lightning rolling in from the southwest, hitting I-10. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to... Oh, okay. Thank you, engine. Yeah, we checked out the radar. The first tomato I squeezed literally starts here. There's seeds all the way down. Look, there's a, there's a seed. Look, there's seeds all over me. And on my arm. First tomato I squeezed. Literally all over me. <laughs> it was a squirter right off rip. Didn't even have to... Didn't even barely touch it. Thing was just dying to let it loose. There was a lot of pent up frustration in that tomato. The tomato murderer. <laughs> I'm back at it again, dude. You tomatoes better watch out. They, they, they squirt me in defense. It's like a skunk. It doesn't stop me, though. I may bitch about it. And I may have to wipe my face off from time to time. But I'm going to still bury my hand in there. And choke it. Hydration. Yeah, I got a bunch of uh, hibiscus tea in there right now. In the freezer, I can't wait to get in there and chug it. I got some tea at the store today. Organic. It was on sale. Two for five. <laughs> it was either get the real sugary stuff for like four bucks for a gallon or two half gallons for five of not as sugary, better for you. But yeah, I got your hat in the mail. I got Dixie socks and I got Rui's uh, bracelet. I got Texas Dad's bracelet in my pickup truck 
for when next time he shows up, it's just in the truck. And um, next giveaway is going to be at 5,500, which unlocks Kyle and I wearing a kilt while we cook. And uh, another St. Jude bracelet. Also, we're in a donation matching challenge. These are some fatties. Some big ones in here. These ain't the holler boys. These are the juicy boys. Haru, have you ever smoked bananas? Has anybody in chat ever smoked bananas? I would think either Kenny or Aru, maybe. They gotta be good. Like, I don't know about, like, a smoked banana by itself, but, like, once you cover it in shit, or puree it up and add it to shit, it's gotta be better. I did get a cheater. I don't know. I'm going to use the cheater just in case. I got one box of uh, banana pudding. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll put that banana pudding in there with it when I'm making the ice cream. Also, this is going to be the first creme delish smoked ice cream ever done. There's going to be two firsts. This will be my first smoked banana ice cream. And this will be the first creme delish smoked ice cream. Smoke plantain. Oh, yeah, good call. Similar. What up, Warhide? Can't get him to stay lit. But my mom makes fried bananas, add sugar. There you go, double. Sounds good, actually, double. <laughs> Smoked apples, pears, peaches, no bananas. Yeah, same, Aru. So Kenny's done plantains. I've never done plantains, but that's a good idea, too. Lumen brought up plantains yesterday with a good idea. I just don't know how they sell on the truck. You don't know until you try, though. Do you have tracking numbers for the packages? Uh, no, because I didn't, I didn't have your email or anything. Uh, it usually takes, what is today? Monday? You'll have it by Thursday. Oh, God. That, I think that one hit my armpit. It went up my sleeve, and I feel it, like, in my armpit. Hmm. I got armpit juice. I probably got little seeds in my armpit. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I've done smoked blackberries too for a sorbet, and that was really good with wine. I did it with a port wine. Never bananas. Well, this would be interesting. Maybe you don't hear a lot about smoked bananas for a reason. Good thing we're adding creme delish to it. Because usually that helps everything. <laughs> Even if it's shitty. Might be good. Creme delish.
All right, I think we're close enough. Now I just got to get some tomato paste in here. Rockstar, I've seen that picture. Her face was hilarious. It was like the, oh shit, daddy didn't tell me there was going to be a bunch of fire. <laughs> oh shit, why did it literally go that high? <laughs> oh shit, that like almost hit me. <laughs> That's a good picture, dude. Goes for the the human goes for the creme delicious. Well, yes, yeah. And technically, yeah. You can put creme delicious on a human body, but what you do with that is on you, stays with you. Uh, we can't talk about that here on Twitch. People say they put it on a spoon and just eat it. I'm like, what the hell, dude? I've never done that. I love it. I like creme delicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting it on a spoon and eating it. All right. Now we need some S and P. And then I can uh, go clean myself up. Get the tomatoes out of my armpit. Wash my wrists off. How about a spork? I like sporks. What do you mean? What are we using a spork on? What you talking about? I think a spork is a great invention, though. It's very useful. That's good. I'm not going to have to add any sugar or anything like that. The tomatoes are definitely nice and sweet. I'm going to go worship. I'm going to go worship. Watch the smoker for me, chat. And then I'll come grab the camera, take it inside. And uh, probably just going to put the internet inside because I'm going to go inside. And I'm not going to be able to see if it starts raining. I mean, I can hear, obviously, but... I'm just going to put the uh, internet inside, and if stream drops, then it drops, and we'll start back up a little bit later. Okay. Don't need the garlic or the onion anymore. Or that tomato paste. Just let me get all this inside. Go worship. I hear thunder. It's coming. Let's get them bananas smoky.
And probably in about an hour, I'm going to have to come out and put some charcoal on here. Actually, yeah. Whew. Dude, it is spicy hot out right now. It's like a hundred degrees out here, dude. Free snow cones? Where? I need them. All right, I'm going to turn the hood vent off because when it rains, that thing will suck rain in. It's so powerful. Keep this on super low. Oops. Taking the bag off of it, though. Hey, what up, Rich? Because I'm going to have to close the window, chat. Also, these back doors I'm going to have to kind of close. Stream's just going to be really iffy for the next hour or two, guys. And we're probably going to drop. Because I'm going to close basically the whole damn trailer up. I'm not going to close the doors all the way, but they're going to be pretty closed. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good to see you. Rich, you're just starting your day. Good. Uh, 501 Legion, thank you for the follow. So, yeah, chat, we're about to get dumped on. It's going to be a pretty huge storm. People are saying an hour or two. Uh, make sure you do a sock check. I, ain't got no, I don't wear no stinking socks, dude. I ain't got no foot prisons on. I don't know where you're from. People wear socks, dude. Um, so, yeah, yesterday's stream during the storm, we dropped and had to end stream. Uh, today, I have a little bit more time to get everything done. Uh, so I will try to start stream back up again if we go down. But either way, I'm going to close the window, close off the doors. We're going to go into the warehouse. If it drops, I'm just going to let it be, and I'll start back up later, so... Hey, what up, Maya? Good to see you, bud. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's all good, man. We just got the... So we'll do a quick recap, I guess, before I go inside real quick. Uh, dude, it's hot as shit. We, um... We just got pork. Pork shoulder on the smoker. It's 91 in here. I guess that ain't bad. We just got pork shoulder on the smoker for the special this week. I got bananas on the smoker. For the special this week, we're going to be doing a smoked banana cannoli ice cream, creme delish. Smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream. That's better. Rolls right off the tongue. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a smoked pulled pork Italian style sandwich. The pork I rubbed down. Hey, what up, Swan? The pork I rubbed down with the Italian herb seasoning, bouillon mix, butt rub. It's in the smoker. We're going to be adding the jardinara to it, chili, garlic, broccoli, rob, mozzarella. It's going to be a good sandwich. Um, I got 300 meatballs made yesterday. Had to end stream, but I got all the meatballs made. I got all the sausage cut, seasoned, ground up, so it's been marinating overnight. Today, we're going to case it. That's what I'm going to be doing inside. Uh, I got marinara already going. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. The pork butt's probably going to take about eight more hours. It, it might not be done by the end of stream, but, you know, when we shred it tomorrow and all that stuff and add the jardin art to it, uh, that's all that matters. You're just playing a game? Good, good. I hope, uh, hope today's going well for you. What up, Zay? Fire up the smoker. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. The smoker can go in the rain. I ain't worried about that. Has before. Uh, it just needs to get on because it's going to take like eight hours. So um, the sooner the better. <laughs> it marinated overnight, so I'm really excited. I just don't know how many orders we're going to get out of it. I think it was like a 
14 pound maybe 12 14 pound pork shoulder but by the time i take the bone out and some of the fat and it cooks i'm hoping to get like maybe 10 pounds 8 to 10 pounds out of it so we should get a good amount of orders um hey michelle hola chat there she is <laughs> don't creep me uh i got a chug inside aki thank you bud um hi michelle i told everybody today to give you all of our good vibes we're praying for you i told everybody today that you were getting ready to do your driving test it's only good it's gonna rain for about an hour uh so i hope it doesn't mess up your practice time and uh, we're all praying for you, and we're proud of you, and we're excited for you. You should be excited yourself. I told everybody you said you were nervous. Um, so everybody is sending you all the good vibes that we can send you today. And I brought you good luck charms. So I hope that made you feel a little bit better. I got... um. I told everybody the story about you giving me the coin a couple weeks ago and I've, I've carried that coin in my pocket ever since you gave it to me and it's like my good luck charm so i told chat today uh i brought you a little chicken a little pollo which is a good luck charm and i brought you a coin that somebody amazing gave me so i passed it on to you but after you pass your test today, I want my coin back. <laughs> you only get it. You only get it for today. After that, I want my coin back. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all proud of you and we're happy for you. So good luck. And I hope you get a little bit of practice. Uh, and you can do it. You can do it. Hi, Mahler. Mahler, thank you again. Hi, Bill. Mahler, thank you again for the uh, fireman the other day, bud. Man, we ended up having a great day because of that. So thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Daniel said, who's doing what? Michelle's taking her driver's test today. She's going to try to get her license today. So I, I told everybody at the beginning of stream to give all your good vibes and prayers. To Michelle. She's nervous, as she should be. She doesn't speak English very well. She barely understands what I fucking say. Uh, you know, so hopefully she gets somebody in the car with her that can speak Spanish and, like, say that it's going to be okay. Um, you know, it can't be easy. It can't be easy. So much fun, my pleasure. Yeah, dude, they they message us. Oh, and I don't know if you heard yesterday, because stream was short yesterday. Um, we uh, we got we picked up a catering job this Saturday because of uh that is not from the firemen, but from a couple that came after we did that ticket. So that place ended up being awesome, dude. Between you between you paying for the firemen and then a couple other people donated in chat for that as well says donated some dessert for that uh then kelly and zay brought their whole friends and family save the day looks pretty smoky banana they're smoking. That's a smoky banana.
That's a smoking banana. All right, so I closed the window. It's already starting to rain. I just seen lightning. Uh, so chat, shit might get bad. What are we smoking? Lumen, that's the bananas and the Italian pork butt. I marinated the pork butt with the um, Italian and herb. Uh, Italian and herb, uh, what's that stuff called? Oh, yeah, bouillon. It's like a paste. All right, I'm going to close the doors. Not all the way, but a little bit. All right. And like I said, if stream drops, chat, uh, I'll just try to start back up after the storm. There's no point to keep trying. And we might lose power. I don't know what's going to happen. So ho hopefully, hopefully we good. I'm just going to go in here and Give it a give it a shot. Give it a shot. You don't want to be in your metal truck when there's lightning? No. I do not. Not Texas lightning. That's a different lightning, dude. Creme didn't come grab honey bun donuts. I'll grab that tug too, Aki. I don't even know if we're still alive. Yesterday. I appreciate you though, though. Hi, goofball. You took the pork butt off an Italian? Isn't that even legal? <laughs> Italian style pork butt. So yeah, you get the um the Italian and herb bouillon. Uh bub. And then I got jar that a couple weeks ago and pickled. Um so I'm gonna blend that up and mix it in with the pork when I shred it. That should be I got some It was in the freezer, so it's like a slug. It's very tart. But it's so good. It's so good. Hi, Super. I hope Amelia... They call it a, uh, it, Big Bernie. This is a Bernie Palmer. Get it right, Daniel. Don't get it twisted, Daniel. Huh? Talk to him and explain it and Oh, 
trademark love of brews. I just I didn't know I had to send a request in and twenty five and pay twenty five dollars to get the printed thing for it. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. They will make that ice cream. Which things you took? So you can help me do that. Smoked banana cannoli, creme brulee cannoli. What up, Scrub? Good to see you, bud. Yeah, sorry, Baller. Yesterday was a pretty shitty day as far as internet. I got a lot done, though. Got a bunch of meatballs done. All the sausage is, is ground up and seasoned. I just got to case it today. Look at all these intestines, dude. How am I supposed to find the beginning? Where do you even start? Helps if you like put it in your mouth and pull through. Yeah. It's a lot of intestines. Ready to put the router inside? Yep. Where's an end? It doesn't end. What is this? How big was this animal? That's what the doctor said. <laughs> Look, it's still going. This is all one. Holy shit. And it's like Christmas lights. You can't just pull the finally, Dota. Jesus. This is all one. Sausage starts here. <laughs> I never thought about it like that, True. That's why we love you. You always got the big brain. Never thought about that before. Story of life. Hi, comic. Oh, it's okay. Hey, those watch streaks, as uh, amazing as they are, I get to tell you guys hi every day. And even on the days that you don't get to make it, that's all right. I get to hi tell you hi the next time. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Twitch messes those streaks up for so many people. I love them because it's another fun way that we can interact together. Uh, but also, I don't like them because of how inconsistent they are and how many people can't use them some people have them some people don't the people that don't are like well why can't i do that like everybody else and then it's like gets to one of those things and it's like you know i appreciate them but it's all good dude this one i'm gonna have to cut i this it's like a knot I don't know how you unknot intestines. There, it, there's so many in here. This one is just uh, bare. Like, good luck trying to eyeball where it goes. Gonna 
going to cut it. I don't know how many I'm going to need. This looks like a lot, though. We'll start off with that. Like a fart or anything like, <laughs> like that? That's a weird smell. It almost smells like moldy plastic uh, if you click on the pop-out box and unmute it works great just saying we can hear what happened can you hear us now Mic fail. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mike dead. Are we back? Okay. Yeah, the mic's going to die a lot. It's pretty black out there right now. It's not coming down yet. It's a coming. I almost wish I had a big piece of cardboard that I threw away already this week to put over the the two doors that are open. They're not like all the way open, but like if I had a piece of cardboard, I could set it on top. Like, pour down in there. Ben. Best guy ever. And good old Tom Petty. Okay. I don't have. Let me look real quick. I need some water for the sausage, though, but I got a sink now. I don't need bottled water. Yeah, I don't have cardboard. It's all good.
Okay. Hey, little sister. <laughs> Nailed it. It's, uh... Sounds good now? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna cut in and out, remember? Everything is in the trailer, closed. Internet, microphone. It's just, just gonna be all weird for a little bit. And... Nipple. Is the camera frozen? Or is my stream just really behind? Are we even live? What's going on? Oh, it is working. Okay. Dang, that's a big delay. Yeah. That is a big delay. I was over here for at least 25 seconds. I don't need these. I need this. Yeah. Okay. We need a lot of these. Large hail, she just said. Flooding. Oh, great. We don't need any flooding. She didn't say anything about rain tomorrow. Well, we'll stream it and the Ain't never heard of her. Whatever, San Diego. Always sunny in San Diego. I wish you guys could smell this. 
Ah, smells so good. Marinated all night. Ooh, that was a loud thunder. That sounded like a shotgun. Wish you could smell that. That's that good smell. Yeah, that was a loud thunder. This guy looks a bit cray cray. The clouds are definitely moving. Steve Storm Camp. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and try to get some charcoal in that smoker to really come down. Because say it rains for about an hour, I'm going to need to get charcoal in there at some point. So I might as well throw some in there now. Yeah, I wish you guys could smell that sausage. Dream on. Dream on. Let's go put some charcoal in there now, so. It's raining. It's, it's raining now, but it's not like, um, crazy. Hey, what up, Perkins? There is definitely a huge delay, though. That's lightning. The camera has like a light kind of brightness feature on it. So it always looks brighter on the camera than what it, it really is here. It's pretty damn dark right now. It's a lot of flies, dude. Texas is full of flies, man. Flies everywhere, dude. I think one thing about a Texas storm, if you guys ever ha haven't been a part of one, is how loud the lightning, or how loud the thunder, and how much lightning there is. Crazy. Texas storms are, are definitely different. 
Definitely scary. Problem is, we don't need any flooding right now. People are still not over the flooding we just had. I'll check the radar. Close it is. Should be like almost right over us. But what I've seen on the radar, compared to what they said on the radio, the radar looks like it's not. It's big, but it doesn't look like there's a lot behind it. But on the radio, she made it sound like it's going to rain till 8. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's on us. The pink is right below us, which is the bad stuff. I'd say it's pretty big. But there's nothing like back here. So I think once we get through this, we should be okay. Oh, that was some lightning. Yeah. That is such a the thing too about Texas thunder is it it's not like normal thunder where it rumbles two or three seconds that thunder we just had lasted like 15 seconds <laughs> it like rumbles forever dude it rumbles forever let's go stir the marinara real quick before it gets bad too and then we're good i don't have to come onto here i don't have to add charcoal We can literally just uh, just chill inside, and hopefully stream doesn't die. Everything's bigger in Texas, especially the storms, <laughs> including the meatballs. Hey, you know one thing that's not bigger in Texas? Dude, even the bot. Yeah, we're in the red. We're at 2,000 kilobytes per... We're at one bar. I'm surprised we're even streaming. We're at one bar on OBS. 1700 kilobytes back up to three remember if we drop stream uh i'll start back up whenever we can I don't think my gift sub. Yeah, pro it probably, dude. Everything's all like so lagged, man. But I appreciate it if you gifted a sub. Thank you. Let me scroll up. Uh, ah, it did. You got a gifted sub to uh, Mr. Audio. Mr. Audio, welcome to the fam, courtesy of Double. Enjoy all the wieners and the wiggles. Spam large to try to get rid of the paper. Thank you, Double. It did go through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Mr. Audio, welcome. Thanks to Double. Yeah, you got a gifted sub. So enjoy all the wieners and the wiggles. Spam them over to a trial league ever. We do have a disclaimer. Thank you, Double. Thanks for doing that. 
Yeah, the camera look doesn't look bad out. The automatic lighting or whatever on the camera. But like looking being here in person looking outside, it's dark as shit. What time is it? Yeah, two thirty. It's dark as shit. Yeah, welcome, Mr. Audio. Hey, no ads as well. Thank you, Double. No ads for you, man. Uh, yo, Kenny coming in with the 33 months today. Thank you, brother. Also, thank you so much, dude, for sharing what you did uh, on the cooking stuff today. That was really cool. Um, and it sounds like it would have been a great menu. So thank you for the 33, Kenny. I appreciate you, dude. We wouldn't be where we are without you. Thank you for all your help through these years. Enjoy all the wieners and the wiggles. Man, Lord, to try to get rid of time. <laughs> all right, let's go inside. We got sausage. All right, what else do I need while I'm out here? Um, I don't think anything because I got a couple sheet trays in there that I can use. I mean, we got to come back out and light the oven because we get the in here in a minute. Oh, cool. I missed the worst commercial ever, too. The Junk for Joy commercial that plays on this radio station is horrible. Krem and I turn it off in the truck when it comes on. It's annoying. Alright, you guys should be good right there. Okay. Water. Rockstar. Be safe, bud. Thank you again, Kenny. Oh, shit. Water. A little bit more, just in case. Yep, subs don't get ads. Is that Texas tea? Um, it's local, yeah, Mr. Beast. Lemonade and iced tea. Says uh, a Bernie Palmer. <laughs> it's organic. They were two for five today, so I grabbed two of them. It smells so good in here. This sausage, when it marinates overnight like this, with all the seasonings in it, it's such a better sausage. I mean, you can make it the day of, but the longer you can let the seasonings sit in there, the better. And we add water because the sausage, it's cold as shit, so it's hurting my hands, but... We add water because the sausage is like. And the water kind of. If you don't put the water in here, it won't go through the machine very well because it's so like just thick, I guess. It's hard to explain. So you got to add water. Like before I added any of the water, I could barely get my hand in it like this. But now that I added water, 
it squeezes through your hand like that, and that's kind of what you're looking for. Problem is, it's freezing cold. So it feels like my hand has like an ice cream headache. That was almost three full containers of water. That's how much it took. All right, so now remember, I got to take five pounds out of this for Sunday gravy. Ah, uh, so cold. Woo! What up, Data? Welcome in, Raiders. How you doing, Data? How's your stream, bud? We are uh, in the middle of a really big storm, so we might lose some power. I apologize if we do. It is a celebration. We just had a raid from an amazing. Show Data some love. How was your stream today? We might lose stream. We lost stream yesterday because of the storm. And it might happen again today. Let's go, Krem. Another work day in the books, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah, bud. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. I'm hoping stream doesn't drop, but we are lagging. OBS is in the red. Uh, but once the storm's over, we should get back to normal. We'll see. Uh, if you guys are getting here in the data raid, my name is Chef Steve. Today, we are doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, but currently, right now, we're getting ready to make some... We made sausage yesterday. I got it all cut up. I do a uh, pork shoulder. So I got it all cut up yesterday, seasoned and ground. And then it just sat overnight in this bus tub. Now, today, we're getting ready to case it. But I take, uh... Every time I make sausage, I take about five pounds out of it. Around four, four and a half, actually. And we use that for our meat sauce. I should have enough meat sauce to get by this week. But if I have to make some, I'll have the sausage already ready. But yeah, here's all of our Italian sausage. My grandma's recipe. And it's what we use on the truck. Stream is good. People chilling, relaxed, and 150 custom emails. Time to relax. There you go, bud. Well, good job, dude. You kicked Monday's ass. You deserve a chillax. And I hope you get to eat some good dinner or something tonight. And I made about 300 meatballs yesterday. Now today we're going to make, I don't know how many sausages we'll get out of this, but we'll find out. 
out. We got, um... You do. Three... All sucks. <laughs> I'd rather... <laughs> 300 meatballs can kiss my butt. Uh, we do have, right now, we do have, uh, pork shoulder on the smoker as well. Uh, I saved one bone-in pork shoulder. We had six pork shoulder yesterday and two beef knuckles. Each knuckle weighed about 10 pounds. Um, and I saved one of the bone-in this week. Italian and herb uh, bouillon paste, and I smeared it all over the pork butt with my butt rub, and I let it marinate overnight. Now today it's out in the smoker. I also have bananas in the smoker for the dessert special this week. We're going to be making a smoked banana creme de liche cannoli ice cream. <laughs> there. I don't think I'm going to fit that whole intestine on the nipple. We might have to cut that intestine, dude. Don't forget, you got to oil your nipple. Thank you, Montana. Dave, good to see you, bud. If that knot gets tight, getting a knot out of an intestine is damn near impossible. You got to cut it. I got to cut this one anyway. All one. This is two. I, there's only two in here. You're in Europe? I wish I could go to Europe one more than once, but I wish I could go to Europe. That sounds awesome. It about safe, Montana. Yeah, thank you for your kind words. Thank you for being a part of the community. It's good to have you back safely. And hopefully your trip uh, went well. Hi, comic. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> double. Don't, <laughs> don't creep me, double. <laughs> don't you creep me, double. <laughs> Whatever, David. Yeah. All right. Whatever, Lumen. No mauler, bad. All right. So we got all the air out. That's some loud thunder. Discord? Did you shoot me a message in Discord? All right, so now that all the air is out, we can tie our knot. Starting point. I like to always spin it like that because I'll never grow up. It's always going to be funny. Okay. Now remember, I'm putting some tension with this hand this way so I can overstuff it so we got a nice thick sausage, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of squeeze my hand on the tip of the nipple to put tension on the casing so it kind of holds it there and lets more meat get inside of it. And then we have a nice fat sausage. Now, if you stuff too much in there, I can like feel it in this hand get fatter. And if you accidentally put too much in there and it breaks, it's. I just scored it in my eye. It's, uh, it's no big deal if it breaks, because then you can just tie it off right there. And then start again, you know? Put the meat that came out back in here and... You can't really mess up sausage. Once you once you figure out like how it how to get it in the casing, and it's not like you gotta be a professional professional to make sausage, you know? It's mostly by feel. Also, it depends on the type of meat or uh, casing, too. Like, if this was a sheep casing, those are more like a breakfast-style sausage link. So you can't put that much meat in it anyway, you know? But since this is a pig casing, I can overstuff it a little bit. There's a lot more uh, room in there. Most sausage is made with synthetic casings now. But I like a real casing because I feel like you get a better snap when you bite into it. And that makes a difference, in my opinion. Some of the bigger stuff, like bigger salamis and mortadellas, 
which are like your balonies and things like that, they use synthetic casings because these casings don't get wide enough. They do have a natural casing that gets wide enough. That's called, it's from a cow. And they call it a beef bung, B-U-N-G. But you try not to use that because you can't eat that. You can case, case things with it, but then you got to like, Cut it off before you eat what's inside. Because the beef bung is really thick. Also, it sounds just as bad as what it really is. It's the very last intestine in a in a cow. So it gets real wide. And also there's like a lot of leftover stuff in there. You gotta really clean those ones. There's literal like, you know, food and shit. But most people use synthetic when they're doing like bigger stuff so they don't have to use beef bung. What do you guys think? And then when I put it in the oven here in a minute, I'm going to spread it out like this so it's not touching. So then it can cook evenly, you know? This is how we'll put it in the oven. It's not going to stay like that, but once I get it out there, I will. And that's one. And then we still got all the meat through the tube. I didn't let it run out. So that means there's no air in here still. So now I can get another casing and just keep going, you know? You want to try to never let it run out like that. Uh, usually get mid thirties or so out of a uh, mess of meat. Yeah, I think so. I can't. I think true or uh. It was cheap as shit yesterday. A dollar seventy five a pound. So I I spent thirty five dollars on pork for this. And then let's just say five bucks in seasoning, five bucks in casings. We got 55 into it. Let's just say 60. We got 60 into it. And we sell them for 14, 13, 14 bucks a sandwich. 
And 15 or 16 of pasta. So we say we get 30. We need to sell what? Five? That means 25 will be all profit. Uh, that's good. That's good. Um, took my X to the meat grinder and all the attachments, and, I, and now I can't afford to replace it. Oh, the ex took the meat grinder and all this. You miss making sausage? I'm sorry, comic. Um, you know, the one thing I can say, comic, is you can find a nice grinder things and casing things. They're around 100 bucks, especially on like a Facebook marketplace. Um, so there, you know, you can get one that's not outrageous, but I do understand what you're saying. It can, it can get to be expensive, especially if you want to use a KitchenAid to do it. So then you got to buy a KitchenAid and then all the attachments. I always get the aftermarket attachments though, for the KitchenAids. I never get a KitchenAid brand. It's not worth it. All right, we're going to have to uh, cut this intestine. This one's so big. Then you got to get all the water out of it. Let's go, Swan. That's good. I'm glad the worst is over for you guys. Now you guys got, you know, a few months of break. And you got to enjoy a little porch swing. It's always good. I like uh, porch swing, like, in the mornings, drinking coffee. No luck in the area. Ah, sorry, comic. You'll find this one right here is a Weston that Mitty Moon got us. And I think she got it on Amazon. If you want to look up Weston. Sausage grinder. Just to get a reference of a new one. Weston. It reminds me of uh, Winston cigarettes. It's beautiful. Not here. It's it's like almost it's ninety degrees today here, which is I don't know what twenty Celsius or something. But we have storms again. Oh, Swan! Perfect time. <laughs> Perfect time, Swan. <laughs> you go back to drinking coffee again? I hope so. You gave it up in December. Yeah, you gave up your life. Having whatever's going on with you. You can't, you can eat, but you can't really. All 
Okay. <laughs> Don't you creep either, Swan. More like 105. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. It's hot out there. My shirt was soaked. I'm back to dry again, though, from being in here. Like squirts meat all over my face. Gross. And it makes farting noises when it goes in the hole. Gross. I got a piece of garlic in the eyeball last time. Lucky? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish. It what? It what? It makes farting noises when you put the meat in the hole. It's smushing like all the air. You got it backwards. How's it going to give you a general weather for Alaska? That's like saying weather United States. Or weather Ohio. Or something. Like how does it know? Forty-five? Not all of Alaska is that, is it? I didn't know. See your reflex, don't you? Don't you wiener me? That is what I'm doing right now, though. It's like the perfect emo reflex. So the at maybe it gives you an average of the whole state. 78 weather earth. I was going to say, yeah. What would it do with <laughs> earth? <laughs> It doesn't even do anything. Well, there's a cooldown. Try it again. I think it's like a 30-second cooldown. 
I wonder what it would say for Earth. There's a hole right there. Got some meat poking out. Scrub, this one is long. Ah, it just said Sungai Pente, Pentene. thing is huge holy shit man how much did I put on here Now we got some room. We got meat poking out of this one. Get in there. Little hole. Uh, hey, what up, Johnson? Welcome in, Raiders. I got a lot of meat in my hand. Give me a second. Hi, Willie. Hi, Corey. I wish you guys could hear it. It farts when I shove the meat in the hole. It sounds hilarious. I wish you could hear the meat fart. Yeah, we had a blowout a little bit. Still good, though. A little blowout. No big deal. It'll be fine, really. Welcome in Raiders. Johnson, how was your stream, bud? I was lurking a little bit today. I seen you moved everything around in the shop. How was it? Do you like it? And are you moving anything back? Dude, we got a new uh, cooler last week. We got a new cooler last week, and the door hand opens up different from the side instead of from the top. So every day last week when we had the new cooler, I kept reaching for the top to open the door just because I'm used to it, and you got to open it from the side. So today... Did you, like, walk to an area where, like, the center used to be? <laughs> Were you, like, all messed up today? <laughs> I hate when you shit around like that, because everything's, like, backwards or different or just weird, you know? You had to make room for a bandsaw? Nice. Good. Now you can 
You can do some cutting. I don't think this is how you make sausage pizza. Yeah, you just put all this on the pizza. You put this on the dough just like this, and then you cover it with uh, sauce and cheese, and you put it in the oven, dude. Sausage pizza. Oh, it's a long one. Yeah, Willie, shoving the meat in the hole, it makes a bunch of farting noises, dude. I, I barely have any in here, so I'm just going to save add it to my Sunday gravy when we make it, and th this is it. The ray. So we got this one done. I'm going to get get that here. Just like that. It'll work. I think it smells like in here. It smells good in here. It stinks like sausage. I think everything's out of the way of the smoker, but you might want to double check. Krem's going to take off for about an hour or something, he said. All right. We got to go light the oven, y'all. Let's go light it. It's done. Doesn't look dark out anymore. Take the bananas out of the smoker. With us, Johnson and crew. Johnson and crew. Come on with us. We got some bananas. We got to take out of there. Looks like the uh, uh the storm the big part of the storm's over though. I can actually see the sky. Man, it got like pitch black here. But I can actually see like uh you know parts of the sky. It hasn't stopped raining in, like, I don't even know how long. Two weeks? All right, so we uh probably a 12 foot on there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. Probably a 12 pound pork butt on there. I can actually open up the uh, trailer now though. It's not raining bad anymore. I had to have like all the doors closed and shit. All the shit. Here it is. Very soft and very smoky. We're just going to let them cool down. It smells smoky as hell. Let me put this in the cooler. And we'll go stir, stir the marinara. Let's 
smoke bananas? Uh, what wood? Cherry. We did, uh, the old cherry wood. So the pork butt, we marinated last night. I'm doing an Italian pulled pork sandwich special uh, this weekend. So the pork butt, I had some leftover. It's like garlic and herb bouillon paste. It, I think it's called better than bouillon. It comes in like a glass little dish. They make like beef, chicken, and then they got one Italian and herb seasoning, it says. I got a, uh, the celebration thing is on the screen still. I got to all of our stuff is lagging because of the internet right now, but let me refresh that and get rid of that. But yeah, we did a, um, a better than bouillon Italian and herb paste all over the pork butt last night. And then my Chef Steve's brand butt rub. And it marinated all night with that. And then um, today we got it in the smoker. So my idea is, uh, Aki, it's inside, dude. I've been chugging, bro. The tea's almost gone. I'll chug when we get in there. Y'all are going to make me overdrink, chat. Um... But yeah, we're going to do the, the pulled pork sandwich. I got some leftover jardinara in there that I'm going to mince up into it when I shred it. And then broccoli rob with the chili garlic crunch. A little chili oil with the garlic in it. We'll toss that with the broccoli rob and then mozzarella cheese. So it's going to be like a take on an Italian beef because the jardinara that'll be in with the meat. Uh, the Italian seasonings all over the pork before we smoked it. And then like the mozzarella and the the broccoli rob with the chili garlic crunch stuff. That's all like classic Italian style sandwich right there. Screams Italian pulled pork. So it should be a good special. And then the bananas are going to be for a smoked banana, creme de liche, cannoli ice cream. Uh, that's what I'm going to make with the gravy, the xanthan gum. Oh, the, uh, the better than bouillon? You're going to make, like, an Italian herb gravy with that? That would be a great idea. Because that, that stuff is so good. Like, it's very concentrated, though. So, like, one little dip of your finger and taste it, it's, it's good. But I smeared it all the way up. The pork should be pretty fire. The pork should be pretty fire. And, uh, yeah, Aki, when I go inside, I will chug, my friend. I will chug. Um, all right, so we got to light the oven. And thank you again, Johnson, for the raid, but it really means a lot. Oh, also, if you guys are just getting here from the raid. We are doing an auction all month long. We are doing an auction all month long. Johnson, what do you think of this idea? And also, not just Johnson, chat, too. What do you guys think of this idea? It just, it just popped in my head. I'm not saying we got to do it or anything. So we're trying out Tildify's new auction feature. We're auctioning off my princess dress. We have till the end of the month. Um, and then at the end of the month, the winner has two days. Tildify came out with this auction thing, Johnson. So I put this dress, the one that I wore, up there for the rest of the month. And we're already at $56. So that's going to go to the St. Jude. Um, but what about, Bowie, what about, um, does the guy come with it? No. What about the Johnson charity knife?
What about the Johnson charity knife? Instead of, because I still don't know if we're going to be doing the GCX charity block yet for the four hours. But I do know we're going to be raising money for GCX all of June and all of July. And maybe a little bit of August. We'll see, because I go to Orlando the second week in August to celebrate GCX raising money for St. Jude. So probably just June and July. But what if we ran that giveaway knife instead of doing it by the ticket how I was going to do? Either on the four-hour stream or by the ticket for that whole month of July? $100 to get you a ticket, and then I just draw a list of names. What if we put the knife on as an auction? for all of June and July. So then people can just bid on it for two months. And even if I do the four hour stream on the GCX block, I can have this graphic on the screen, not with the dress, obviously, with the knife. And then I can have them, since I'll be on their channel, I can give them our auction link and they can make a command in chat during that four-hour block if I'm doing it this year or not. And then we can still give it away at the end of the month instead of on that stream. And it give people more time. And I think people might get invested in it more if they can bid. Auctions are kind of weird, right? Because you can either get screwed or it can get overbid. Not that there's an an overbid for it. it. The bidding is endless on it. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think about that idea? What up, Matt? I'm Mike. Because uh, I'm just thinking, like, I wasn't thinking about the auction for the knife because I didn't find out about it until we went to St. Jude. And Tiltify announced that the auctions are a thing. But now that I'm thinking about it, it could be a good way to get more money for that knife. You know? Could be a good way to get more money for that knife. Okay, I'll be out here playing with my meat. I'll be out here playing with my meat. Ah, oh, thanks. She said it smells good. That's what I like to hear, chat. She said my meat smells good. Okay, so what do you guys think about the idea? Honest opinions, honest opinions. Um, oh, good, Diomedes is in here too. Perfect. Um, auction sounds like a cool play, True says. Not sure you'd get as much for the blade from one person versus many people throwing in a little. Yeah, that, that's what's cool about the auction. Is that what you're talking about? The auction, people can keep bidding. Let me uh let me show you real quick and then I'll keep reading. I know I'm way behind in chat. Um Let me show you guys what it looks like. I think that's what you're talking about, Johnson. I think we could make more in the auction cuz it'd be 2 months of people bidding on it. Uh ba, 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 what am I looking window capture? All right, check this out. Auctions. So these are all the people that have bid so far. It, stout, it started out as a dollar. Mad-Eye Mike. 
tells you a lot about Mike. And then Danner with the 125, and then he just did five. And it's cool, too, because you could just say, here's 500, and keep bidding for me until it gets past this. So then Fairley came in with 550, 66. See how they're, like, battling? Danner, Fairley, Danner, Fairley, Danner, Fairley, Fairley, Danner. And now Fairley's winning at 56.55. So maybe people that are invested in wanting to win this knife can keep bidding back and forth for two months and checking on it. And maybe we'll get a lot more for the knife this time around doing it this way. <laughs> Diomedes, you can just come to the trailer and get a pasta for free for the sheath. You made the sheath. You get free pasta, bud. Uh, yeah, well, that's not going to happen, Rockstar. Uh, I don't think you would make as much on an auction. Are you serious? So True says yay. Minja says no. Johnson, I, I don't really understand what you wrote. Uh, Corey says, I think it's better doing money per ticket. The results in a drawing myself. Corey says no auction. Okay, so it sounds like you guys are like no fucking auction. Brother Prince, how many people put up 100? That's the thing. It's going to be $100 a ticket, and it's only going to be for July. And there's so many things that I don't know yet with it, because if I'm a part of the GCX stream, I usually give it away at the end of that stream. So it's like, you're either going to be limited to the couple weeks before I do that stream, and then that four-hour stream to donate for that knife, and that's it. But I feel if we do an auction, we have it all of June, all of July, even during that stream. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think if more people are saying no, then obviously I'm not right. Uh, it really depends on how many people put up 100 for the ticket. I think 20 people at 100 versus 1 for 2K. Making the most money is buying tickets for auctions online. And when you're in person, have... The right crowd, you have a silent auction, wait for the rich person to pony up. I agree with Johnson. More dollary dues for the kids is the goal. Makes a good point. If multiple people need to donate to achieve unlocking the knife, that might generate more money. Yeah, because it's every $100 donation, not five $20 donations to give you 100 it's literally a $100 donation will give you a ticket. That way we can track it through Tildify. That way Tildify can help us track it. GCX can help traffic track it. So anybody that drops a $100 donation will get a ticket. How many people are going to do that compared to, say, Dan or Bean dropping 20 bucks all the way from June till the end of July once a week? That's 160 and he's still in the running for the knife. Now, I feel like in an auction, the knife's going to go for more than 160 Swan, you like the idea. So me and Swan are the ones that like it so far. Uh, it's a great idea. Aki thinks we'd get more money that way. Two months of bidding versus two months of buying tickets. It's... We're not doing the two months of buying. When it comes to the ticket thing, it's only going to be for July. And it ends after that four-hour stream, if I do it. There's so much up in the air right now with it. Like, I wish they would announce who's doing the GCX charity block so I would know. But they haven't made any announcements yet, so I have no idea, like, if I'm even going to do it this year or not or what, you know? I mean, we make the rules. I guess we could do whatever the fuck we want. But the last couple of years, I've done it for that block only, just in the four hours. But this year, I wanted to do it for, like, all of July to give our community a chance to get some $100 donations in there in case you can't make it to that four-hour stream that day, you know? And I thought we could get some more donations that way because of it. But it literally has to be a $100 donation so we can track it. We're not going to be counting everybody that's dropping 10, 5, 20 at a time 
and every hundred they do, you know, it's, it doesn't work like that. Um, I think there might need two knives, so you have one for your channel, one for the community, and everybody. Captain Morgan says, I w Johnson did that one year for us, um, but that that's I, I get it, Captain Morgan, but that's not what it's about. I'm I'm just grateful that he. He makes a knife for us to do this with. <laughs> and I'm grateful that Diomedes wanted to do uh, a sheath to help out. Um, I'm not going to ask for one for the charity stream and one for the community, but I get it. I get it. Uh, it's just, it is what it is, man. We're thankful to have anything. And um, I'm just trying to see how we can get more money. And the auction thing just came out, so that's why I'm bringing it up. The last couple years, we've only done it during the four-hour stream. But this year, I wanted to do a little something different because we make the rules. And I just thought by having the whole month of July, our community could drop the $100 for the tickets during the month. And then that four-hour stream, you know, we'll get how many ever people we can bid for then. And uh, then I pull the winner at the end, you know. If you run, want to run the EDC as a one-ticket $100 dono and run an auction for a custom chef provided by me, I would be okay. Uh, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, I don't know. I, I'll get back to you. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do, honestly. What I want to do more than anything is figure out if I'm going to be a part of the block this year or not. And then I guess we can talk more about these decisions. You already do enough, though, Johnson. Like, you you, you, you do a bunch. And I, I know you don't mind at all. But also, I don't want it to take away from that knife either. Like, I want a lot of people to want the knife and want to bid on it so we can get a lot of money for it. So then, like, if we have two knives, maybe the community won't bid on the other knife. You know, maybe they won't drop 100 on the other knife because they have a chance to win another knife. I don't know. I'll, th I'll think on it. We're just talking today about this shit, so... Uh, but thank you, dude. And you guys have all had great feedback, so thank you guys for that. Uh, I restilled my cider a couple nights ago, added frozen apricots to mash last night, check an hour ago. It's so bubbly. I think Yeah, the apricots are definitely really helping it, huh? Added more sugar to it. Sounds good, Crucifix. Free pasta? Yeah, Diomedes. All you gotta do is show up. Auction equals one whale donation. Raffle equals lots of small donations. Either one could work. Auction requires more hype. Yes. Thank you, Zay. Okay. Hey, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, sounds like you want to do an auction. It's your event, so do... Oh, I mean, I, I do and I don't. I just... I thought the auction was a good idea, but, you know, now reading all your guys' stuff... It makes more sense that you're right. Like, say somebody on the auction just donates a thousand bucks, then who else is even gonna? But I think the thing is, nobody will know because how the auction works. If somebody donates a thousand, it only does the highest bid. So, say the highest bid at the time is fifty. Somebody does a thousand. It's only going to say the next highest bid is 55 or whatever. So somebody else will bid on it. But then it'll tell them, not enough, not enough, right? And then that price keeps changing, not enough. And then eventually those people will stop bidding because they're like, well, this is, I'm up to $200 and I still haven't had enough. Somebody must have dropped, you know, 1000 on or 500 on or something, you know? Um, so I see where it could be a shitty situation for the auction. It's not that I want to do the auction, Corey. I, I'm just like, you know, helping. You guys are helping me think of through all the different things. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I. I the tickets definitely sound way better <laughs> now that you guys keep putting it that way. Thank you, Faceplant. Yes. The tickets sound way better because more people. 
feel like they have a better chance. I see what you guys are saying now. In an auction, if they drop 25 and they can't be the highest bidder, then they basically just lost out on that 25 and they know they're not going to win shit. But at least they donated the 25 to the St. Jude. Um, but I feel if they could buy the $100 tickets, more, more people would do that because, like, you know, hey, if I got five tickets in the drawing, I should have a pretty good chance. Compared to, oh, shit, I just dropped 25 and it says not enough. I'm just going to tap out there. So, yeah, I, I see what you guys are saying. It's making a lot more sense. Uh, just give it to me. See, it's simple. <laughs> hey, do you follow Johnson? Matt? He does a lot of giveaways. <laughs> uh, you can also go small tickets and multiples of that number to get you chances. Well, so, Zay, the thing is, usually there's lots. Um, it's too much to sort through. There's, there's no system in place. You have to manually sort that, or during the four-hour stream, the St. Jude and the, and the GCX staff have to manually track those donations uh and and i don't want to put that on anybody it's easier if it's easy to spot the hundred dollar donations in the dashboard not finding a bunch of 333s and adding them all up and finding the name with it, it it's one or the other it's always been a hundred dollar donation for a ticket that's never going to change um but i i definitely understand what you're saying uh dan are coming in with the 1154 Dana, thank you for the donation. Uh, no one is on the hook to pay Tildify for their bid uh, if they didn't win the auction. Yeah, so then it goes to the next highest bid after that. And so on, until somebody pays for it. Yes. Which is another could be bad thing on the auction. Maybe somebody, dr say, wins it at 1000 but they end up not paying. Then the next highest guy was uh you know 600 yeah that could be a bad thing too tickets it is yeah yeah tickets are sounding way more better yeah okay cool thank you guys thank you thank you thank you hi scorch how you doing no one knows the top bid Yeah, yeah, Zay. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. I, I don't know. I'm a small dude, and I don't know how to do any of that shit, man. And uh, the last four years we've been doing it, it's just easier to do it as the one big donation. I'm sure there's a lot of people uh, that have a lot of things that they know how to do and do that stuff. I don't have that. I'm not putting that on the St. Jude team and the Tiltify team. And, um, you know, it is what it is, you know. It's a, that's, a, that's a lot to sort through, Zay. And I don't even know what you're, I don't even really know what you said, but I, I apparently there's a program out there uh, that can sort through all that stuff. Um, I, that's beyond my pay grade, bud. I, the thing is, I don't want to make it any more complicated than it has to be. Anybody that donates a hundred bucks gets a ticket and that's how you can win the fucking night, you know? Um, let's see, we got a $13 donation. Let's go back to that. Danner, thank you for your $13 donation. It is a 11, actually, it's 11.54, which is doubled. We are in the middle of a uh, donation matching challenge. Uh, Danner says, for the kids, uh, hashtag sorry, having a rough day. Hey, Danner, I appreciate you, bud. Thanks for the 11.54. Sorry about your rough day. I get it, dude. Mother's Day uh, was right around the corner. I know you, you've had a huge loss. Uh, just try to do the best you can. Keep your head up the best you can. It's understandable, my friend. Uh, thank you for taking your crappy and bad days, dude, and turning it into something positive instead of doing something weird and dumb. 
Uh, thank you for being a part of this community, man. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the 1154. That puts us up to uh, 5,078.54. Appreciate you, bud. And Danner, uh, stay strong, my friend. Remember, reach out anytime you need. You need anything, dude. Uh, light the oven. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we talked that out. Thank you, guys. So the tickets, tickets are a way better idea. And Zay, if you have any, uh... If you have any ideas about all that other shit you were talking about, and it's easy and something that we can install and do, maybe, uh, I can definitely consider lower, lower bids, too. Uh, we'll just have to chat about it. I, I don't really know even what you fucking said, you know? But yeah, if it's something that we can easily do, then maybe we can do some lower bids, too. With, like, fun numbers, you know? Like a $69 donation. But then why would anybody donate 100? Because it's all about getting a ticket at that point. Eh. I think I'm just going to... I'm not going to fuck around. I think I'm just going to do what I normally do. I'd rather just make it $100. That means everybody has to drop 100 which is a red wagon. And if we get 10 people to donate $100, there's 1000 bucks. We should be able to get at least 10 people that want to win that knife. Hopefully we get, you know, 40 people. Hopefully we get 40 people that want to win that knife. That's why that charity block's good, because, you know, there's anywhere between 1,500 and 5,000 people in there during that stream. And say there's like, you know, three or 4,000 people in that stream, we should be able to get at least 20 people want to donate 100 bucks. To have a chance to win that thing. Uh, yeah, we got all month. We got all month, Texas Dad. They're probably waiting to the very end, you know? Fairly Critical is in the lead because he wants Rusty to wear it. So it sounds like Fairly's going to win it and then send it to Rusty. <laughs> That's the best part. And Rusty says he can't fit in it. But he's lying, chat. Don't let him lie. He can fit. He just don't want to wear it. All right. Okay. Some of us want to win the knife so we can give it to a streamer we know. You better not win. Nobody better win that knife and give it to me because I do not accept. I will not accept. <laughs> but I appreciate it, Danner. I fucking love that knife. Don't get me wrong. Uh, But, dude, I... I this is for this is for the kids more than anything, but also this is for the community, you know. Did he try it on at St. Jude? No. If you can set your own minimum bid to start the auction. Uh yeah, dollar. I had it a dollar. Oh, you're saying for the knife? Set it at minimum 100? Yeah, but I, I think chat's right, Swanee. They kind of like... They were right. I, I was just... I had to talk it out. 
we would get more money in donations through tickets than we would an auction for sure. Even if we set the starting point at 100 for the auction. Because one dude could just drop 500 bucks and then everybody else would be like, well, I'm not going to bid more than that. I only wanted to, you know, bid 100. Now I can't, now I don't even have a chance because now I bid 100. I don't even get a ticket. And I can't even win the knife because I need to bid at least 501 to be the next highest bidder. But then the guy that dropped 500 will probably drop another 100 and then I'm out again, you know? So, like, more people would not bid at an auction than would as a ticket. So, they convinced me. And they were right. Hey, hi, Kelly. How was your stream today? Good to see ya. Prove it, Corey says. Corey, did you do your command today? I didn't get to hear your command. Uh, hi, Kelly. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the shout out. Good to see ya. Here comes the second round of rain. I hope not, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Yeah, well, hey, we didn't drop stream during the last rainstorm, so that's good. Ah, uh, Kelly, I hate that. That's a shitty situation. I'm sorry, Kelly. Dude, when they come in with a crap attitude... It's like, what's the point? Why you want to ruin everybody else's day? Because you're mad at ownership or whatever. You know, why even show up? Why even show up? You know what we did at, at like some of the restaurants and stuff that I worked at when people did that? We would put them on like dish or, you know, go pick up cigarette butts in the parking lot. And then they would get pissed and just leave and never come back. <laughs> we would put them on like the worst job you could put them on that wasn't anywhere close to their normal job because they can't say shit about it. You're the boss. Um, and then they would just like leave. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's rough. But nah. <laughs> I think I know which one you're talking about, Rockstar. Hopefully it does, that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Hey, good. I'm glad to see we're on the same page. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't create drama. Um, most times it does. <laughs> most times they're like, nah, fuck that. I ain't doing it. Or, and make a scene. Or, um... Because they want you to, like, fire them. But you don't have to fire them. You can just be like, okay, if you don't want to do it, then you can just go home for the day. Uh, and get the fuck out of here, basically. Um, a lot of times, though, we've they've went to do the stuff we told them to do all pissed off, and then we wouldn't see them, like, the rest of the night. They would just, like, literally go to their car and go home and never come back. <laughs> That's the ideal situation. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's horrible, Kelly. I'm sorry. Okay, Johnson, be careful, bud. Thank you for the raid, dude. And thank you for helping me uh, talk through the auction, everybody. So, Kelly. It's a raining. It's a raining today, but we got a... Uh, Italian pork butt in the smoker right now? 
Um, it's going to be good. We're going to do an Italian pulled pork special this weekend. I, uh, there's this stuff called Better Than Bouillon. It comes in like a glass dish. And it's like an Italian and herb better than bouillon. So it's like a smearable paste. I rub that all over the pork butt with some butt rub and let it sit all night and then threw it in the smoker today with some cherry wood. What I'm thinking is I got some leftover uh, jardinara in there that I made a couple weeks ago for the Italian beef special, which is like the uh, pickled celery, carrots, spicy peppers mixture that goes on Italian beef. Thinking about grinding all of that up, like blending it all up and then adding it into the pork when I shred it. And then I'm going to get broccoli rob, which is like a longer piece of broccoli. Sear it on the flat top, toss it in that crunchy chili garlic oil stuff, and put a piece of that on the sandwich with the pork and mozzarella cheese and call it an Italian pulled pork sandwich. It should be a pretty banging special. Uh, so the pork's in the smoker right now. And then we just got done smoking bananas. I'll show you those when we go inside. I took the bananas out already. The dessert special this week is going to be a smoked banana creme delish cannoli. So there's going to be little chocolate chips in the ice cream, creme delish, smoked bananas. I did get one pack of banana pudding that I'll add into that and um, for that artificial banana flavor. And then I'm going to crumble up a cannoli. Like Min just said, I'm gonna, when they order one, I'll crumble up a cannoli shell when I scoop it out. And then put some on top and stuff, you know? So it should be good. A smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream. And a smoked pulled pork Italian, smoked Italian pulled pork sandwich. Those are going to be the specials. You like that crispy garlic oil? Yeah, Bob, that stuff is so good on so many things. Um, especially broccoli raw. It's cool because it can like, it sticks like, it really sticks to the broccoli rob for some reason. And when you put that like on a sandwich with the, the smoked pork and the mozz and the, uh, it's going to be delightful. Um, I want that ice cream right now. <laughs> I've never done smoked banana ice cream before. I was either going to do a smoked banana bread pudding special, a smoked banana pudding cheesecake mousse cup thing with creme delish. But since it's going to be in the 90s this week, and we've been selling some good amount of ice cream, I figure let's just make a, a fun ice cream flavor to, to try to sell this weekend. So, sounds good. I, I've done a, a few smoked ice creams, like a smoked peach um, Riesling, like a white Riesling wine and smoked peach ice cream. I did a smoked blackberry port wine ice cream. I did a smoked poblano and garlic ice cream. That was interesting. I put that on a taco. So it was like spicy and sweet from the garlic and the poblano. I know poblanos aren't spicy, but that ice cream had some spice to it. And it was smoky. And it was great on a taco. It was weird because the ice cream is like cold, but it started melting and added like a bunch of smokiness to the taco. It's pretty good. I think I've done another smoked ice cream too, but I'm forgetting. Those all sound amazing. Yeah, I did a, one of my favorite ones that I did was the cheddar cheese ice cream. I made a cheese sauce and stirred that into the ice cream with sharp cheddar. And then I put that on a smoked pork apple pie. I smoked a pork butt, shredded it all up and mixed in the smoked pork with my apple pie filling. You know, got the green apples, cooked them down with the brown sugar, cinnamon, pulled pork made the pie crust, put all that in there, baked it off, cut a nice warm piece of smoked pork apple pie, and then put a big fat scoop of cheddar cheese ice cream on top. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> well, because people were saying, um, people were saying they like apple pie with a sliced cheddar on top. And, and, and being from Ohio, I've had it, and it's good. Some people are like, dude, you don't put cheddar cheese on apple pie, but some people fucking do. So then I was like, well, what if we did 
a pulled pork apple pie, and then we made a cheddar ice cream. And man, blown away. Mind blown. Mind blown. Because uh, pork and apples go together anyway. Uh, my friend's sister makes a banana pudding for their family restaurant and tops with small chunks of banana. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Because usually, like, the go-to for banana pudding is vanilla wafers every time. Banana bread, though. I like that idea. Weirdos. <laughs> Whatever, Rockstar. You would get on that combo pie. Yeah, Bob, it was good. It was good. We also did a um a smoked brisket cheesecake. And that thing turned out fire. I took um I smoked the brisket for like twelve hours. And and like, you know, halfway through, I wrapped it in the butcher paper like normal. So when it was done smoking, I unwrapped it and emptied out all that juice in the butcher paper. And it gave me like at least a cup and a half or so of like that smoky brisket juice and fat. And then I stirred that in with the cream cheese for the cheesecake. And it made it like brown and smoky flavored cheesecake filling. And then for the base, you know the crispy fried onions that you shave real, like you could buy them from the store, the French's onions that go on green bean casserole. I made some, I, I, I shaved some onions real thin on a mandolin, dunked them in hot, uh, Frank's Red Hot, and then dunked them in flour, tossed them with the flour, and then threw them in the fryer. And then I took all those fried crispy onions, and I put them in a food processor, and blended it up, and all the, the grease and the oil and the onions made it stick together kind of like a cheesecake base. You know how you take your, your, your graham crackers and butter, and this one was just fried onions and, and grease. <laughs> so that was the base for the cheesecake. And then I put in the smoky brisket cheesecake filling, baked that off, and then sliced the brisket. Oh, we made a a chocolate barbecue sauce. I did my normal barbecue sauce recipe and then just stirred in a, a couple nice chunks of chocolate at the end. So then we covered the cheesecake with the chocolate barbecue and then put the sliced brisket all around it and then put crispy onions right in the middle, like a big pile of them. It was insane. It was, it was weird when it was warm. It was good, warm. But it was better the next day when it sat in the fridge overnight. Because cold brisket's good. And cold cheesecake is better than, like, when it has a little... I, I rested it for about an hour before we ate it, but still, it was, like, it was still warm. Uh, so I didn't like it as much warm, but it, it was really good cold. Smoked banana bread, that sounds fire. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be a good idea. Like, those bananas that I... So there's multiple ways you can do it, Rockstar. I think I've done it before. Uh, but the way I did it before was I made the banana bread mixture and then just put that whole thing in the smoker in a pan. Uh, but we just smoked the bananas today for the ice cream, but you could probably just smoke the bananas and then stir that in with your banana bread and then bake the bread in the oven. I think it would work both ways. But yeah, it, it, it's good. I, I definitely had it before. I can't remember if I made it or somebody else made it. Baseball says that's that sounds good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I got pictures on my oh, I got my phone right here. Kelly, you might want to leave. They shouldn't take long to find. Ah, there's our chocolate mayo cake with mayo ice cream. This was a redemption. This chocolate cake has Duke's mayo all up in it, which is good. The cake was good. But then I made a mayo ice cream. Oh, God. Chat. It was, it was bad. The cake was good. Mayo ice cream? No bueno. Oh, this is the uh, pulled pork apple pie. 
Here's the pulled pork apple pie with the cheddar ice cream. This one has a face on it. Wait, hold on. Look, it's smiling. It's smiling. All right, let me find the... Uh... Is that my tacos with the ice cream? Oh, no, that's our... Oh, our smoked beef Wellington? Look at that. We did a smoked uh, beef tenderloin. And then we wrapped it in puff pastry and baked it. Look. It still turned out good. I thought it was going to be overcooked. Because we smoked it and then baked it. But that was good, dude. Smoked beef Wellington. Um... Oh, uh, here's our goat cheese, creme delish goat cheese cheesecake. This is made out of all goat cheese, no cream cheese, and creme delish. That was good. Here's the brisket cheesecake. Yeah, look how brown it is. Here's the brisket. Look at the, the color of the... Um, the cheesecake, though, after I stirred in all the uh, brisket juice and fat. And then there's our chocolate barbecue. And then I took some brisket, sliced it, laid it around, and then chopped some. And then we put the crispy onions. That was the base uh, in the middle, too. It was so good. Here's a piece that I cut. You want to try all those, Bob? Yeah, they're good. It's fun playing around. We've done a lot of fun stuff. I mean, look, this is a take on... um. This is fun. This is a take on chicken and waffles. Asian style. So I did uh, General So's chicken. And then I did pizzelles instead of waffles. Pizzelles are like an Italian cookie. And then I plated it a couple different ways. Oh, and I also did fried rice. So fried rice with General Tso's chicken. And then the pizzelles. So it was like a cool little take on chicken and waffles, but not waffles. It was fun. I got so many food pictures. Oh, this was a good one. This was our smoked crab cakes. Wait. Smoked trout crab cakes. So I got some trout, hit it with the butt rub, threw it in the smoker, and then when it was done smoking, shredded it up and added it to the crab meat and made crab cakes. So these are the smoked trout crab cakes. And then... um. This is a uh, pink tartar sauce. It was so good. I made um, black cherry Kool-Aid pickles. Where literally you, you could just buy pickle spears in a jar. Take the pickles out. Dump in a packet of your favorite Kool-Aid. Put the pickles in and shake it and let it sit for a week in your fridge. And I did black cherry Kool-Aid. And then after a week, the pickles literally are the color of whatever Kool-Aid that was. And I minced them up. And then use that to make a tartar sauce. And it turned the whole tartar sauce pink. That was good. And the combo of like the the black cherry tartar with the smoky crab cake. Holy shit. Oh yeah, look at this cheesecake. We've done so much shit, I forget all the shit we do. This is round number two of the storm. That's a big ass thunder. Pickled Kool-Aid, uh, Kool-Aid pickles, not pickled Kool-Aid, <laughs> kind of pickled Kool-Aid, but yeah, dude, pickles are great after you add Kool-Aid to them, 
Um, look at this cheesecake we did. You know what this one is? Ooh, look at that cross section. Hi, DJ. So here's what the cheesecake is. It was a uh, Wendy's chocolate frosty and vanilla frosty cheesecake with a french fry crust. So we did the Wendy's french fries as the crust for the base and all around it. We did Wendy's chocolate frosty cheesecake and Wendy's white frosty whipped cream. So two different frosties. One is a whipped cream, one is a cheesecake, and then the french fries as the crust. It was so good. Did you see the suspenders? Yeah. If you guys haven't made that cheesecake, you should. Uh, Steve, thank you for the 20 stream streak. Let's go. Put on some damn clothes. <laughs> it's raining here. I don't know where you're at. I think you're close. Put on some clothes, dude. It's raining outside. Thank you for the 20 stream streak. Good to see you back, bud. I remember that stream. Yeah, it was fun, Kelly. This was fun. That was a, a large sausage pepperoni extra cheese pizza. Turned into this. So I took that large pizza and pureed it up. And I added flour. And made a gnocchi. So I made a pasta dough out of that pizza. So it's a sausage and pepperoni gnocchi. And then I did a double fried. I did a pickle brine double fried buffalo chicken bites. And then a buffalo Alfredo sauce. So basically it's fried buffalo chicken, buffalo Alfredo with sausage and pepperoni gnocchi. <laughs> Everyone's like, you can't, you can't blend up a pizza and make a dough out of it? I was like, bullshit. Um, hey, 9.5. Hello, 9.5, welcome in. Uh, thank you for the raid. Chat, make sure you guys are giving 9.5 a follow. Show her some love. Uh, her community has been killing it this year on charity incentives. Uh, it's good to see you. Also, 9.5. Did you pass 100,000 yet? Or are you right there? Chat, if you guys are in here, make sure you show her some love. Go give her a follow. It's free. It's like a virtual hug. It literally costs you nothing. Click on the link that the mods posted there. Go say hi. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Are you guys at 100,000? Close? Almost? It's good to see you. And I'm very, very proud of you guys for killing it this year. We were battling during Starlight. Uh, we were battling during... Thank you for the... Trixie, thank you for the hot dog. We were battling during Starlight. Uh, very happy for you guys this year. And then, um, yeah, right now we're currently in the middle of a donation matching challenge for the St. Jude Play Live. Uh, 97,890. Hey, that is huge. Uh, Rockstar coming in, gifting a subscription to 9.5 as well. Uh, 9.5, welcome back. Thank you for the raid. Now you have officially the Wieners and the Wiggles. Spam lower to a trolley. Everyone do have a disclaimer. 
Uh, you are free to spam as many Muppet Wieners as you would like here, as big and as long as you would like here. Just be careful where else you spam them on Twitch. If you get banned in your favorite channel that is not on us, we have a disclaimer. Uh, cool. So they're at 97. She's right around the corner from 100,000 chat. That's going to be a huge milestone. That's going to be a huge milestone. And thank you guys. Thank you for coming in with the 9.5 raid. Thank you guys for supporting her. And uh, just always being there and paying it forward and doing something greater than themselves. You guys are killing it this year. Also, 9.5, this this literally tells me a lot about you. Uh, I always like to see what people do when they get their emotes back. And this is what she did first. Um, not too big. Not too small. She at least put a middle one in there. Um... But also, this tells us a lot about her. <laughs> uh, hi, Lynn. How you doing? Rockstar. That, that, is, that is incredibly way too big. Nobody's that size. Uh, Double, don't creep me. Don't you creep me. Um, but yeah, so welcome in. Hey, also, 9.5, have you done anything with the auctions yet? Check this out. We're currently, uh, we're doing our first auction. We've never done an auction before. And we're auctioning off the... Um, let me show you. We are auctioning off the princess dress. Hi, Aspie. We're auctioning off the princess dress that I wore to the airport. Uh, welcome in, Brock. Welcome in, Aspie. Welcome in, Lynn. Ah, you got a couple more days. I'm sorry to hear that, Lynn. Uh, but let me show you guys. If you guys haven't done an 9.5, have you done anything for auctions yet? Have you done anything for auctions yet? So look, they have their own, like, dashboard. And I have it going for the whole month. And look at all these people that have been just been bidding back and forth on this dress. It's pretty easy to use. I was wondering how like hard it was going to be. Uh, and then, yeah, if you guys haven't been here before, we also have a charity stream team. If you're looking to join up to our team, you can go to goodcausecrusaders.com. Right now, we currently have 119 members. Uh, we have raised 389994 since 2021 when we started the team. But, uh, yeah, have you got to do any auction stuff, 9.5? Have you got to do any auction stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging it. I originally was going to burn the damn dress after I wore it to the airport. Um, and then when we were at the St. Jude Summit last month, Tildify had a seminar there, and they were like, hey, we're unlocking the auctions. And I was like, well, that'd be a great place to put the dress. Because even if I can get a dollar out of it, that's better than burning it. And then I put it up this month, and we're already at $56 on this thing, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, they gave me advanced access last year, so we've been... Oh, okay, good, good. So you've you've used it. Yeah, it's, I, was, I was curious how hard it was going to be. Whatever, Matt. <laughs> don't creep sausage me <laughs> you think it's gonna be yeah hey lynn it's better to let them get it nice and ready before you you know instead of getting in there hopefully it didn't mess you up with like leaving your other place but yeah i'd rather have them finish it properly than getting in there when it's like rushed but that does suck and I i'm sorry lynn so that means you got to wait a little longer to get the sunday gravy now it means you got to wait a little bit longer uh, hi, Anamina. How you doing? How'd the sausages turn out? We're getting ready to put them in now. You want to go grab them? We got some pork butt in the smoker for the special. We already smoked some bananas for the ice cream. The oven is warm, so let's get it in. We did uh, 300 meatballs yesterday. I cut and ground about 65 pounds of meat yesterday. 40 of it was for meatballs. 
And the other 20 was for sausage today. So we got it all cased, and now we can get it in the oven. I like to let it sit out a little bit. So the uh, sausage case, so the, the pig casing can get a little hardness on it, I guess is what you want to say. So it has a better snap. So the casing can kind of dry out a little bit. And it'll have a better snap. But this is our Italian sausage recipe, which is my grandma's recipe. And then we got marinara on. And I got a pork butt in the oven. And I got the bananas smoked for the ice cream. We're going to be doing a uh, smoked... We're going to be doing a smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream for the dessert special this week. Um, which we would just put our creme delish cannoli filling in there. Some mini chocolate chips. Crumbled cannoli shells, and then the smoked bananas. Should be good. I got one more tray, so let me go grab it. You stay. You stay. One more tray. We're on round two of storms, but we haven't lost power yet. I probably need to put some more uh, wood chips on the smoker. Ooh, I came into a, a good song. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. And then once this gets cooked off and cooled, uh, we can portion it up and see how many we get. Yeah, Lynn was so excited to get into her new house. She's been talking about it for a couple months now. And then it got delayed. But honestly, Lynn, I've never bought a house, but I've heard of that happening a lot. Just shit comes up, shit happens. It's unfortunate, but... Like I said, I'd rather have them have it all top-notch and fixed up and ready. The problem is the, um... This mic just catches on so much shit in here and just literally gets pulled out of my pocket. The problem is... You know, if, if if you had to leave a place, now you're now like, what the hell are you gonna do for another month? Crash bag in here. And then we'll go uh, grab some wood chips. Some wood chips. Yeah, that's understandable, Lynn. So, so sorry. Oh, living with your dad. Okay, good. Good. Okay. So at least you're not in a crazy bind. Who's the builder, Lynn? Uh, Lynn lives in uh, Norway, I think. Yeah? Lynn lives in Norway. Things are probably different there. But it happens a lot here in the States, too. It's not like it's doesn't happen here. Oh shit, we need more charcoal. Can get a glove on. It's starting to rain harder, great. 
Great. It's raining harder. Great. No! Why did it roll so far? This pork's probably going to take about eight hours. But the coals in here are hot enough to where the charcoal should definitely uh, light. I think somebody said, like, the Boy Scouts or something. Said. Um, every piece of charcoal is, like, one degree. Every piece you add is, like, a, an extra degree in temperature. Boy Scouts wouldn't lie. Boy Scouts don't lie. I'll go ahead and it's not raining that bad, so I'm going to turn the hood vent back on. I can also turn this marinara down a little bit. Uh, okay, so chat, if you guys are still here with the 9.5 raid, I'm sorry, I had a lot going on. <laughs> but uh, let me play you a little something about us and our channel. I have been so damn loud, dude. I can't even hear myself think. Go ahead and turn it off. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna play a quick video about us and our channel. If you guys haven't been here before, and uh, we'll be right back after that. Thank you guys for coming to the raid, and thank you for supporting 9.5, and thank you guys for raising tons and tons of money for uh, sick children with cancer and and local children's hospitals. True. I'm not going to be streaming the whole time, True. <laughs> We're not going to see the pork finish today, but that, that's okay. Uh, we'll be right back. It's more than pasta, it's cuisine for kind. A five dollar donation courtesy of Twitch. We've got uh, for the kids. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm going to give it to the kids. Thank you so much. Building memories through food like our grandmother taught us. That's why it's called more It's the food and beverage enhancer that can be used across all the culinary arts to create sweeter or savory dishes. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Thank you so much. Ten more dollars for the kids! Kremlin's culinary powder is the food and beverage enhancer. It's my friend. He's gonna hang out with us this month. He is full of hot air. More than just pasta. It's more than just pasta. It's more than just pasta. All right, that was a little bit about our channel and uh, what we do. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> all right, let's get inside here and clean up all this meat real quick. I'm just going to throw it all away.
been sitting in there. There's flies that got in here. It's only like maybe a half a pound or something, but I don't trust it, dude. I was out there for a while. Sausage probably has 20 minutes or so in the oven. So yeah, all the meatballs yesterday, 300, done. Um, sausage has been cased. Like I said, we just got to cook it. Once it cools, we can portion it. So let's just get our area cleaned up here and reset and see, uh, wait on that sausage and see what we can do. Oh, here's the bananas. These are the smoked bananas. You can grab them now that they're finally cooled down a little bit. It's going to break, Lynn. So, yes, those are our bananas. We'll break that down, too. Bananas. Bananas. I can't wait to try it. Smoked banana has to be good. And I think it's something I, I've never tried. Usually I save all this and just eat it. These are like my snacks because this is all the stuff that stuck in the machine and we didn't get all the way through. But also, there's a couple flies that have been in here today because of the rain. And when I was out there, I didn't have this covered, so I'm sure they've been on this meat and I ain't fucking with it. It's my own fault for not covering it. Okay. Go get all this rinsed off and in the dish so it's easy to clean later. I had a ton of dishes yesterday from all the grinding and stuff. And then all the pans that I cooked the meatballs on. We had lots of dishes yesterday. All right, that'll help. There's fly. I see it. See you, fly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's okay, Chess. It wasn't that much. I just, I'm not going to be able to eat it now. That's all I do with it anyway, all the leftover stuff inside the machine. I usually just mix it with some eggs or something and eat it while I'm setting up. It's all good. It's my fault. I didn't cover it. We got a raid and, that, you know, starting to rain. I don't know. I just went out there and wasn't thinking. Forgot to cover it. And flies get in here when I open that door to come in and out. Unfortunately. Part of life. And I know they were probably on that meat, so I'm, I'm not fucking with it. I'm definitely not selling it. Which I never sell the... The leftover meat out of the machine. I always just eat it. But that's good. So yesterday, 300 meatballs. Today, we'll see how many sausages we get out of this. I think it was a, probably around like 16, 17 pounds. And remember, we paid about 60 bucks. We paid about 60 bucks for everything for that sausage. And we charge... 14, 15 bucks for an order of sausage on a pasta or on a sandwich. So we only need to sell six. And I'm thinking we'll probably get 25 or 30 out of it. So we should make a pretty good profit. And then these are the smoked bananas that we're going to put in the ice cream. Smoky bananas. That's one expensive sausage pizza, sixty bucks. Yeah, if you imagine all that sausage on one pizza, that would be insane. We're probably gonna make the ice cream on Wednesday, chat. So these are just gonna chill in the fridge. Nice and smoky. Smoky dokey. Smoky dokey. The pig casings I can put back in the freezer. Smoky dokey. Smoking a pancake. Cheers. Aki, thank you for the. Oh, and Krem said he didn't want his donuts. He don't like honey buns. Far. Far, fam. Like a my donut. Very intrigued about this banana bread. Or this banana ordeal. The way I look at it, Anamina, how can it be bad? Banana ice cream with chocolate chips and creme delish cannoli filling. Has to be good. And crushed up, um, crushed up cannoli shells. It's got to be good. True said, smoked bananas sounds like a weird dare that turned into delicious. <laughs> four at 15 is 60. Oh, shit. We only need to sell four? Damn. These are so good. I 
I got feel like making love on the radio right now. All right, what can we do next? I think I'm going to make batches of pasta dough next, and that's probably going to be it. Because we already have one pasta dough made from the other day. So if I can make two more today, and then tomorrow we can roll out pasta. All the dough will be made. Marinara is almost done. We still got to make pasta cones. I think we'll do pasta cones and pasta tomorrow. We'll make tomorrow just all night pasta. We'll probably stream till like midnight tomorrow. Because I got to go pick up my order tomorrow. So stream's probably not going to start till 2. But we can probably stream all the way till midnight. It's going to take us to get the pasta cones done. I want to do 12 of those. And um, to roll out all the pasta and to get it cut and all that. So let's just designate tomorrow pasta day. So today I'll make two balls of pasta dough. Where's my recipe? Let me double check. I think it's 300 semolina. Uh, 400 all purpose. Let me see. Feel like making bum bum. Bam, bam, bam. Three hundred semolina. Three hundred and fifty all purpose. Um six yolks, two eggs. Uh, what size diameter? Um, they're in the garage. Let me let me grab one. I don't know. offhand. Man, it's raining hard. Should probably close the back doors again. It's raining pretty hard. I think it's six inch or seven inch. Six inch. Looks way bigger. That's bad news for me. <laughs> this looks like a big six inch. Six on the, the big end. It's not good for me. Thank you for the follow. Uh, hi, Fish Stick. I like your name. Hostess Honey Bun Donuts. What were those? Oh, sorry, Fish. Yeah, I, I, I haven't looked up a chat. They were new, and I got them on sale. Thank you, Faceplant. They were $1.39. Reduced. How can you resist? It's on sale. You got to buy it. Uh, but yeah, they were like honey honey bun brand. I would say they're good. They taste like a honey bun. I like when you warm up honey buns like in the microwave so that glaze like melts. But um 
But the one thing I would say that's bad about these is it puts a weird film like on your teeth. Like that sweet glazy film. But I got them on sale. It's not like I buy donuts all the time. I would buy again, but probably not at full price. Hostess brand, yeah. They're pretty good, though. I think that would be better, too, with, like, milk. You know, if you could dunk them. All right, let me go grab some eggs. Well, let me also close the truck doors a little bit, because it's, it's pouring out. Smoker's smoking like a champ, though. That charcoal really helped. But it's raining pretty bad. So I need, for the dough, I just need eggs. I got water inside. I got the flour, the semolina. Really, I just need eggs. Uh, and a container to put egg whites. Egg white container. And then, yeah. On the uh, smoked banana ice cream. Thursday, Friday, Saturday job, plus Saturday catering. I'm going to start prepping for catering until Friday and Saturday. In the mornings, while I'm setting up the truck for the night. It's going to be a busy week. The catering isn't too bad. The catering isn't too bad. They want chicken parm, a half pan of chicken parm. So I need one half pan of spaghetti. Oh, I got to cook off pasta Wednesday, too. I need one half pan of spaghetti with marinara and then one half pan of the chicken parms. They're getting 15 orders of garlic bread, a half pan of the house salad, um... And a half pan of pasta primavera, which I'm going to use penne for that. And I'm going to go get all the veggies and stuff tomorrow at the store when I'm getting all the rest of my order. I'm thinking about doing carrots, broccoli, red onion, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes, roasted garlic. So pasta primavera, just like a bunch of veggies with garlic, oil, penne. And that's going to be for a drop-off on Saturday at 1.30. And then Krem's going to drop that off while I'm getting the truck ready. And then Saturday, Kyle's going to come and help us. We're going to a uh, car show. Saturday, we're going to be at a car show. So that could be fun see some old cars hi Aspie. cucumbers um oh no no yeah we're uh it's a pasta primavera yeah i see what you're saying now we love discounted treats i know dude a dollar 39 worth it every donut had my first air fried english breakfast today it will also be my last <laughs> uh. That sucks, bud. Not the apartments. Yeah, we canceled the apartments on Saturday because the guy from Rap Stars called us. 
But Scrum's going to talk to him. We knew he was going to do a car show a couple months back. The guy that wrapped our trailer. He said something about doing putting on a car show. Um, and he said he wanted us to be the trailer that goes there. He's, and we said, hell yeah. So he called us yesterday and asked us to come out on Saturday. So Krem, you know, had to cancel the apartment we were at, which is going to be a slow apartment anyway. And um, we're going to go there on Saturday now. But Krem's going to tell him, dude, you can't, like, tell us three days before you want us to do the fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're thankful for the opportunity to do it. It might be slow on the first one, but, you know, if he, he has them, like, every month, it'd be nice. If we're the only trailer that he has there, it could be a big thing for us. He also gave us a, a huge discount on the trailer because we do charity stuff. So yeah, now we're going to the car show on Saturday instead of the apartment. Primavera equals spring. Coincidence? Yeah, yeah, that's what pasta primavera is. Like fresh spring vegetables. I'll definitely have some like, you know, summer squash, zucchini, Red onion, cherry tomato, the go-tos, dude. Broccoli, carrot. What I'm going to do is get rid of the cherry tomatoes from last week's special and the carrots from last week's Sunday gravy that I have in there already. Then I just got to buy a red onion, a little head of broccoli. Um, I already got the garlic paste. Uh, you know couple squash a zucchini it's only a half pan so i don't i don't need a ton hey what up stone how you doing bud yeah it's just cool that we got the catering job more than anything we got that job from the apartment we were at on um Saturday. The couple came to the apartment we were at on Saturday to try us out and then called us the next day and made a catering order for this Saturday coming up. They said they love the food. And that's cool because that's going to be like, you know, an extra 300 bucks on Saturday that we w wouldn't normally get on top of whatever we make at the car show. Hey! Appreciate you, dude. Good to see you. Says the uh, the pork is in the smoker. We got 300 meatballs made yesterday. I got 65 pounds of meat cut, trimmed, ground. So 300 meatballs yesterday. I got all the sausage in the oven. We we cased all the sausage today. It's cooking right now, and then we're gonna go grab it out of there. Let it cool, and then we can portion it up and see how many we get. I got the bananas smoked today for the smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream. We're going to make that on Wednesday.
And then Friday and Saturday, I'll work on the catering in the morning. Okay. If you need me to go do check anything or whatever, let me know. I didn't realize it's already been however long it's been. It felt like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm not keeping track, bud. <laughs> it feels like 10 minutes to me. Want to come cater my choir's dance party? <laughs> Ask me. You posted like a flyer or something. I see you had like a flyer posted on Facebook or something about it. I just didn't read it. I noticed it though. In Canada, I will. Uh, for a feeling you'll be selling more drinks than usual on Saturday? Oh, yeah, probably. Definitely bring a lot of drinks. Saturday, for sure. We're gonna fill, fill up the, uh, cooler, basically. It doesn't hurt to bring a bunch. Worst can happen is you don't sell them. Good call, engine. Because we make pretty good money on the, uh, the drinks, we sell them for a dollar. I think we're paying 16 bucks for a 30 pack of Coke. Uh, like four, three or four bucks for a case of water, bottle water. And I think it has 24 in it. I think the Sprite's the same as the Coke. 16 bucks for a 30 pack. I'm I'm buying all the drinks. I'm buying a Coke this week, a Sprite. Man, eh, we probably don't need a Sprite. I'm buying a Coke, a Diet Coke, and a water this week. I think we're good on Sprite, though. But yeah, we can probably make some good money that day on some drinks. Yeah, that's the one I saw Aspie. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to read through it. So, it sounds like it'd be fun. Water's the best. Yeah, we'll bring a bunch of water. Because it's going to be hot that day. Car show. Everybody's going to be walking around. They're going to want something to drink. I do know one thing, not everybody's guaranteed to eat there on Saturday, but a lot of people are probably going to you know, definitely want to drink something. No, no, it's only a dollar for the drink, but, you know, we're paying 16 bucks for 30 of them. So we're making bucks every case we sell we're making more on the water cuz you know 24 of the waters is only like 4 or 5 and we're charging a dollar so the more water we sell the better
He brought you a zucchini? What the hell, Swan? I mean, they're kind of similar. But no. Hey, at least he brought you something. <laughs> Most husbands would be like, nah, I ain't getting up. Nah, you can get it yourself. <laughs> he tried. He failed. But they are kind of similar. Ish. They're both long and sort of green. Zucchini's like way darker. And fatter. Coke's four bucks. No kidding, Lynn? Yeah, we charge a dollar for a can. And we charge a dollar for a 20-ounce bottle of uh, water, your normal, you know, bottle of water. We don't have bottles of Coke. We just have the cans. No, definitely. I may cook with it, though. Oh, yeah. Cut it up. Cook it down. Salt, pepper, garlic. Butt rub. Pretty pricey, Lynn. Everything is expensive here. Yeah. Including your house? <laughs> Including your house? How much is the cans? We pay dollar twenty five. Nico says, uh, we charge a dollar for our cans of dollar for any of our drinks. That's what everybody charges, so you can't like charge more. You well, you can. A lot of times we go to places where we're the only truck, but like if you're at a place where there's other trucks, you can't sell your cans for a dollar fifty. Everybody else is selling them for a dollar. Nobody will buy any drinks from you. Now, it is different if you're selling, like, a bottle, like a plastic bottle of Coke compared to a can. So okay. For one can. It's out right. Well, good thing you don't drink a lot of soda. <laughs> then that means I'm sure a lot of people over there don't drink a lot of soda. Hi, okie dokie. If soda's that expensive, I wouldn't drink a lot of soda. I don't drink a lot of soda anyway. But I I'm a tea drinker. I like iced tea, sweet tea, hot tea, sake. <laughs> Doing good, okie dokie. Nico, it's good to see you today. Yeah, that's what we pay. Lumen. 16, 17 bucks for that 30 pack or whatever it is. Is it a 35 pack? It's a 30 something pack. And we pay 16 bucks. Crum drinks a lot of Coke, though. That's his thing. So we probably don't make a lot on our Coke. Because, you know, he, he drinks a lot of that, too. But we definitely make a lot on water and Diet Coke and shit like that. Sprite. Double that here at Walmart. Yeah, the restaurant stores are like 16 bucks. Sometimes at Kroger, Krem's wife can get... Um, sometimes Kroger, which is our, our just local supermarket, sometimes she can get three 12-packs for like... I think it's like 10 bucks or 12 bucks or something. Nine bucks, 10 bucks, three 12-packs. Sometimes Kroger will have it on sale for that. 
So some weeks I'll get it from Kroger, some weeks I'll get it from the restaurant place. More than I should. Yeah, Krim drinks a lot of Coke. Definitely way more than you should. But he also drinks a lot of water, too. He's always got a gallon of water as well, but... Just a, a lot of Coke is definitely not good for you, you know? I don't know what he averages a day. I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of people out there way worse, you know? Well, I would assume he probably drinks at least six a day. But they are good, like a nice cold can of Coke sometimes, man. I like when you get get a nice cold can of Coke, and on your first drink, it like gives me the hiccups because of all the carbonation. I hiccup and burp at the same time. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good Coke. Also, I think McDonald's has the best... has the best fountain Dr. Pepper. But I think McDonald's has the best fountain Coke. Yeah, Rockstar, you drink way too much too. You and Krem both. Rockstar was hooked on Mountain Dew forever. Now he's on... I think you're on the Coke as well, right? Sometimes Rockstar's got some Dr. Peppers. Coke's the best. Five to six a day. Yeah, that's what I thought. You probably drink about six. Them hiccups. Rockstar definitely drinks about six. Or more. But he, he did stop smoking. <laughs> Rockstar don't be doing any smoking. Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. There you go. I knew it was Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. I didn't know if it was Coke, too. Ice cold in a glass and bottle. Harsh hit in your throat. Yeah. I Dude, you know what's good, but not worth the price? The Mexican Cokes with the real cane sugar that come in the glass bottle. And if those are like sitting in, in ice and then you just crack that glass bottle open and it, it kind of like instantly makes the Coke go a little slushy. Woo! And you got the cane sugar instead of the uh, corn syrup. I mean, I'm sure there's still probably corn syrup in it, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, you drink 11 2 liters? Or one and a half liters? Oh, okay, there you go. Donald's has some deal with Coke. Uh, they have some secret recipe for their fountain. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Steve. It seems like the McDonald's Coke out of the fountain has, like, the most carbonated Coke flavor ever. Definitely some kind of deal. This is good. Trying out the Dr. Pepper strawberry and cream, not going to lie. It's not that bad. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I see it, but I just don't buy a lot of soda. I wanted to try it, though. Corn yeah. If I drink... This. Orange Fanta or Grape Fanta Sun Kissed, Grape Knee High. I'm a big like flavored soda fan. When I go to Bucky's, I get like all the flavored stuff. The Bucky's blue pina colada. Just Orange, I, I mix it all, too. I like all the flavors. Dr. Pepper coconut cream? Whoa, I've never even heard of that. I see the strawberries and cream that's out right now. I love Dr. Pepper. Pepsi Max is a leading soda in Norway. Oh, so Norway is a Pepsi country. Hmm. Pepsi country, huh? 
choice of a new generation, huh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a Pepsi Max. I can't even remember the last Pepsi I had. Look, I like sweets with the best of them. Sometimes, for me, Pepsi is like too much. They like double up the the sugar. Cola beer burger? Ooh, what's that? Cola in your burger? Ground burger meat? For real? Oh, yeah, Lynn, Bucky's. Didn't you Google Bucky's, Lynn? Welcome to Bucky's. That's gas station heaven, Lynn. You can get anything at Bucky's. They got four pound chickens, whole chickens at Bucky's gas station. Stuffed with jambalaya, shrimp, Cajun etouffee. Dude, Bucky's has whole like 17 ounce bone in ribeye steaks that you would get at a restaurant, cryovac. Whole beef tenderloin. They got basically a Walmart on one side of the store. And then the most food and beef jerky you've ever seen in your life on the other side of the store. Only Pepsi Max, the sugar-free one? Yeah. Iron Brew? I love Iron Brew Aki. Engine brought me some a couple weeks ago, and uh, Kelly and Zay brought me some both, too. I chugged it, dude. I was going to make a sorbet or an ice cream with it. I couldn't stop drinking it. Zero sugar, Dr. Pepper. Ooh. Never tried that. They have the coconut and zero sugar, too. I'm going to have to get in on this coconut. So ask me, everybody that's tried the coconut you guys like? Dr. Pepper coconut, good. I love coconut. So I would definitely try it. Seems like it's not even real. Exactly, Lynn. <laughs> we say the same thing, trust me. You're like, how the hell could this even be a real place? in a gas station really every gas station we have here in the states has alcohol wine beer liquor at the cash register they have many bottles of fire water the cinnamon liquor so you can get you know a little mini bottle on the way out the door give it a little chuggy chug Or you can go get like a, a fountain, a fountain Coke, go to the register, pay for your fountain Coke and get your little fire water at the register, dump it in there and then get in your car and go drive, you know, yourself a good day. Where'd y'all find the, that's what I'm saying. I haven't even seen that. Coconut. I've seen the strawberries and cream one. I want a crunch with my sandwich that there's no Kimber. I guess this, I guess Wheat Thins will do. Hell yeah, Swan. Krem was just talking the other day. We were talking in chat the other day about potato chips on any sandwich. Wheat Thins count. A sandwich is so much better with potato chips. You can barely process that? Oh, yeah, Lynn. We got liquor in every gas station. Utah's got a bunch of weird, weird things going on there. A bunch of Mormons. They do things different there. They they marry multiple wives. 
but they're not allowed to drink anywhere. I don't, I don't get it. Certainly can't drink and drive here. Here in the States. We're resilient. Drinking everywhere. The best trick is you go to the gas station and you get That happens all the time. That's the thing, dude. Or, like I said, you just get the little bottle of fire... Fireball. At the counter, and then just dump it in. Take a drink of your Coke. 20-ounce Coke. And then dump the rest in there and put the lid on it. Yeah. Thank you, 17 people. Are we back? I ain't starting it over. I was telling you evil ways to drink and drive. Yeah, I was telling you evil ways to drink and drive. Before my dad passed away, entire story was on mute. Good, good. Uh, before my dad passed away, when I did construction with him, we did road work. So sometimes, you know, our day was like a mile long down this road, two miles long down this road. And uh, I remember my dad, it'd be like six in the morning and we'd stop. We'd stop at the gas station. He would grab a 12 pack of beer. Um, we'd stop at the gas station in the morning. He'd grab a 12 pack or 24 pack of beer. And then we'd go to where we were going to work that day on the road. And he would stash like a couple beers every couple hundred feet in the in a bush or somewhere alongside the road that we were going to be working on that day. So then throughout the day, every time we get to a certain bush or whatever, I was the one with the shovel. He was always in the machine digging. But then throughout the day, he'd always have a beer. And then also my dad was the one that showed me he would get uh, either a bottle of beer or like a 22-ounce beer when we were driving home from the day. And he'd put like a work glove, like a brown work glove, on the beer like a, a koozie. So then when we were driving down the road and he would drink the beer, all the cars would, would always be waving at him. He <laughs> guess he'd, he'd drink the beer, and it looked like he was waving at people. So then everybody in the cars next to us would always wave at him because he'd be drinking all the time. Yeah. That's what my dad taught me when I was, like, 17.
It was pretty funny. Road beers? Oh, yeah. Dang, we got severe thunderstorm warning till 5.30. Isn't it 5.30 already? 15 more minutes. It's like blackout again. We had a big rain earlier, then it went away, it got sunny, and now it's black again. All the way down the road, there literally was beer. Yeah, the whole day, the whole work day, he would plan out at 6.30 in the morning where we would stash his beer. Unfortunately, he passed away at 50. His liver and his kidneys went out from drinking. And once he got on dialysis, that was basically it. It's not easy to get a kidney or a liver transplant these days. And especially when you're like 50, they'd rather give that to other people. All right, man. Get back. Drinking at work's a big no-no. Not here in the States. Especially in the kitchens, Lynn. That was just construction. There's so much drinking that goes on in kitchens. Restaurants? That's all you do is drink. One of the best chefs I knew would drink the wine, the cooking wine, all day. Plus, he would be taking food out to the bartenders, sneaking food to them, and they would sneak him drinks. And then he would just be drinking the cooking wine all shift. And one night he got so fucked up at work, he drove home after we cleaned and literally hit a dump truck and died. He was our grill guy, the best grill guy we had. We had to get a new grill guy. A lot of drinking at restaurants. That's all you do is trade food for, you know... All the chefs or the cooks are best friends with the bartenders. That's just how you do it. So then you get drinks or Red Bulls that you don't have to pay for, and then they get food. Most family would rather go to that time. Welcome. Hey, yo. You'd like to try it in a bottle, Dr. Pepper Cherry? Uh, I'll see if I can find it, Aki, and then uh, we can talk about sending you some. I'll see if I can find it, like a bottle, like plastic bottle or glass bottle. And if I find one, I'll shoot you a message. I can grab it, and then you can send me uh, some money to ship it. Patrick, good to see you back, bud. 45 long, hard months of support. You could have it in a heartbeat engine, says. Ooh, there you go. Is it bad to use a stand mixer for fresh pasta? I have the ingredients, but no counter space at the moment. Uh, No. You can use a stand mixer, but the problem with that, Lumen, once it gets to this in the stand mixer, you have to you have to for like at least five minutes, most likely ten. So it's not like uh, bread dough that's a lot softer, and the stand mixer can handle it. When it gets to this point in the stand mixer. 
that thing's gonna be a wobbling, shaking. But I mean, really, it doesn't. It doesn't require. Once it gets to this, it doesn't require a lot of counter space. So then you can just sit here and knead it. So yeah, I would I would suggest making it in the mixer till it forms the ball, and then taking it out and using the little bit of counter space that you have to knead it. Because there's no way that the mixer will will knead it without it either tearing apart the mixer, overheating it. There was the hardcore types like Bourdain. Oh, yeah, Dave. That's just how the restaurants are, man. You need something. I, I, I'm, I've i never been a big drinker because it was my dad was. And I seen, you know, what it did to him. Uh, but I, I've smoked a lot of pot. <laughs> so my thing in the restaurants was always just smoking weed. But a lot of people there would just be drunk all the time. I can't say anything because I was high all the time. It's not easy to be sober at a restaurant. <laughs> so much shit happens throughout your day. You're like, fuck, I need a drink. <laughs> I need to go hit a ball. <laughs> this place sucks. And then you smoke a ball and you're like, oh shit, let's go. This is awesome. I can't wait to cook. It's usually how it goes. You're having a shitty day. You're tired. You're pissed off. You hate the place. You go get high and you're like, it's like you just clocked in again. You're like, hell yeah. Can't wait. Go throw down. Plastic, Aki says. Okay. Engine said he might be able to find some, too. And then uh, I'll let you know. I still need to go to Bucky's for faceplant. I gotta fucking make time to do that, dude. I need to find one closer to me, though, that's in Houston, not in Madisonville. The one in Madisonville is 69 miles. So, like, a little over two hours there and back. But I think there's one somewhere here in, near downtown At there. And then I can till, kill two birds with one stone, get your Dr. Pepper. And they get face plants, beaver nuggets, and other things that I'm going to send him. Hi, Commander. All right, so tomorrow, pasta dough day all day. Well, I got to go get my order and stuff first, but when I get back from the order, we'll work on pasta dough tomorrow and uh, pasta cones. We'll start our day off with pasta cones. We'll get 12 of those made. I got four. I got four left over. So if we do 12, that'll give us 16 cones. And if we sell 16 cones this weekend, I'll be happy as shit. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so now we got four balls of dough. Tomorrow we're going to make like a thicker noodle, almost like a pappardelle, not too thick. We haven't ran a one a wide nude. Check the speed. It's 
probably ready. Smoker smells good. Yeah. Sausage. Oh, yeah, it's ready. Smell it. Marinara's ready. So much juice. Yeah, 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 ah, ah, hot. Whew. Okay, we gotta empty out some of this juice. Sheet, very hot. Something went in my eye. Oh shit, does it burn? It's a burning. Oh. I don't know what went in my eye. Could have been a bug. It, burned. it was a bug. Mm. One more. And it's been raining, seriously, like two weeks straight here. Sucks, dude. It's ridiculous. Laminated pasta dough. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? Like with herbs in it and shit? Mm. I don't think the people care. It's cool. I like the way it looks. But it's a lot of work. That's something you do for like somebody you love. The customers that are ordering the pasta on the trailer don't give a shit about laminated pasta dough. That makes sense. So all the time and whatever it takes for me to do that, which isn't, you know, that bad, but still, it's like all for nothing, really. They could care less if there's a speckle of parsley in their pasta. <laughs> Done. Herby pasta? Yeah, yeah. That's definitely something like you do for somebody you care about. That ain't gonna work here on the truck. It's not worth it. I like the way it looks, though. Okay, propane is off. That's fair. Yeah, it's just too much. Well, also another thing asked me about that. Um, is I, I only have the KitchenAid cheater thing, so I can only get like this wide 
I had the restaurant one that's this wide, which, you know, I'm trying to save up to get, maybe then. But the one that's only this wide, you got to roll out the dough long, put your stuff in, roll out another one, put it on top, then roll it through. And I can only get this wide, so that's enough. It's just, I don't know, it sucks. It'd be a lot of work for how how small of a machine thing that I have. I would definitely consider if I got if I got a better sheeter. But even then, the people say I, I say I did that with some ravioli. The people that ordered the ravioli would not give a shit. They just want the ravioli. They might like one time put go to pick up the ravioli on their fork and see it and be like, oh. But it's like I got too much shit going on for a, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't care about their, uh. All right. Give it then. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Aspie. Give me some tape. I'll be good. Hell, yeah. Tape it up, dude. Yeah, definitely need it on the counter, Lumen. Just don't uh, don't mix it on the counter. But you'll see what I'm talking about when you're making the dough ball in the KitchenAid, Lumen. Like once it starts to form that ball and and clean the sides of the uh, KitchenAid. It's almost like, you know how when you get, like, clothes in the washer that are all on one side? And it, like, makes all that noise. The washer's moving, beats the shit out of the washer. That's kind of what happens with the dough ball. All right. Let's get that, uh, get this inside so we can puree it up. Wah! <laughs> oh shit. I almost fell. Yeah. That's heavy, dude. It's like forty pounds. Just sauce. Well, six six pounds a piece, four cans, and then the pot, the onions, the garlic. It's pretty heavy. I see you fly. That ain't gonna work. Hey, hi little mama, hi evil. Welcome in, you two. Welcome in, you two. The smoker real quick. Smoker. Got some pork butt on the smoker for the special this weekend. The Southwest airplane. I thought Southwest wasn't in Texas anymore. And that thing is low, dude. I know we're like 15 minutes from the airport, but also I didn't think Southwest was in Houston. Or maybe that change hasn't happened yet.
It felt like I could throw a rock at that thing. It was so low. I just wish the rain would stop, dude. I just want the rain to stop. Grilled cheese on toast? Isn't that grilled cheese? I think you added the word on toast. You don't need it. You have grilled. You have grilled in that sentence. I don't think you need the on toast. Open up the diner for Mother's Day. Ah, uh, that's good, little mama. Hell yeah. That's good to hear. Hey, you take care of them. It's nice that they did that. That's got to feel nice. Thank you for sharing that, little mama. That's cool. Southwest started in Texas. We'll still be at Hobby. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing was low as shit. Yeah, little mama always uh, helps a bunch of the kids in her area, homeless people, kids that are on the streets. So that's nice of them for... It's nice of them to do that. Which is also good because it's good that you do that too. Because they'll watch after your business when you're not there, you know? They won't let nobody fuck with it. Because that's where they get some food. You got street cred, little mama. You cried a bit? You should. That was very special, and that was very cool of them to do that. And you do a lot for them, and you deserve it. That's their headquarters. There you go. Yeah, I just heard they weren't going to be at Houston anymore. And that one was like literally right above my. I could. It, seriously, I could throw a rock and hit it. It was so. So close. Maybe I can't, but it looked like I could. Yeah, Steve, that's how we do grilled cheese, yep. Yo, also evil. Evil, the real play is, instead of butter on your bread before you toast it or grill it, you put mayonnaise. And then do it. Life-changing. You get a better grill with the mayo than the butter. Southwest is based at Hobby. That's their headquarters. Yeah. So they're just basically not at George Bush anymore then. And they're out of Dallas, but they're still in Houston, just not at George Bush. I, I have only flown on Southwest one time. I usually go Delta or United or Spirit, which is the worst. I've only done Southwest once.
Oh, there you go, evil. Sriracha mayo. I've never done that. That's big brain, bud. Out here with big brain. I need to try that. GG's evil. GG. This marinara is perfect. Tastes great. Nice and smooth. We just got to get some herbs in here. July, that's when it starts. Okay. So that's why it was right above my head. Ah, the old snacks. I don't think I ever eat snacks on a plane. Sometimes I do get a water. I can't remember the last time I had a snack on a plane. They're always weird. Some name brand you haven't heard of. Usually super dry. That's why you need the water. I just always tell them no. Fall, fall. For the flavors? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sriracha mayo is a good idea, dude. All the airlines are terrible. I agree. But we have to... We Problem is, we got to do whatever they say. Unless we buy a private plane. Or rent one. But you're right. It's like there is no good one. I mean, you can drive to get where you got to go, but sometimes that takes like a couple days. It's nice. It, you know, flying is is nice. It's a nice luxury. Uh, but still, we're you know we're screwed. United, uh, DL, and American. Oh, American. Yeah, I forgot about them. Got the final countdown on the radio right now. Can't stop tapping my foot. The guitar is just shredding right now. We're on the guitar solo part. Aki, did I chug when I got in here yet? Uh, hey, there he is. Hi, Cy. Welcome in. How was your stream, bud? We've had a couple bad storms today, but we haven't lost internet today. 
So we're doing good. It's still pretty dark out there right now. Uh, what up, Reaper? Good to see ya. Cheers. What up, Sai? We are uh, picking some herbs. We just finished up marinara. Um, we got bananas smoked today. We got the smoker going right now with the pork butt on it, but that's probably got some time. We can go check. I know we're not even close, but we can go check if you want. But we got a bunch of bananas smoked today for the ice cream. We got pork in the smoker. We're doing a um, smoked banana. My nose itches. Um, we're doing a smoked banana. Creme delish cannoli ice cream. Smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream. For the dessert special this weekend. And then we're doing a uh a smoked Italian pulled pork sandwich special this weekend. So the pork still got a while, but we'll go check it anyway. I need to check the charcoal. Maybe throw a little bit more wood chips on there. What is your favorite sandwich? I don't know, man. I don't think I could even pick. Honestly, I don't think I could even pick, bud. You need smoked banana in your life, Grim Reaper says? We're in Houston, Texas. We're in Houston, Texas. Yeah, I'm doing a smoked banana, creme delish, uh, cannoli, ice cream for this special. Ooh, it's got a crack in it. Got a big bone right here. Oh, we, ooh, we got a little, we can peel and taste, dude. Oh, yeah. That's hot. Oh, those flavors are incredible. We rubbed that last night with Italian and Italian herb better than bouillon. It's like an Italian herb paste made by bouillon. And my butt rub that I sell. So it sat all night with that better than bouillon and my butt rub. And then it's been in all day. We're using uh, charcoal and cherry. Which we need more. Then what we're going to do is... When this is done, tomorrow I'll shred it up. And I got like a, a jardinara that I made a couple weeks ago for an Italian beef special. So the pickled celery, carrot, peppers mixture that goes on Italian beef. 
I'm gonna blend that stuff up and mix it in with the shredded pork. And then we got the um, crispy chili garlic oil stuff that you can find in like the Asian section of the supermarket. It's that chili garlic oil, crispy chili garlic oil stuff. And I'm gonna toss that on some broccoli, Rob, which is like longer piece of broccoli. And that's what's gonna go on the sandwich. So the smoked pork, the chili crunch broccoli, Rob, mozzarella cheese on a torta bun. Italian style pulled pork. And then smoked banana, creme delish, cannoli ice cream. Those are the two specials this week. And then we got a catering gig on Saturday. Oh, also Saturday we'll be at a car show. If you guys want to tune in on Saturday, I think it starts at like 4 or something, 4.30. I don't know how far this camera will reach, but you know it's it's wireless, so we can walk around in our little area. Check out some of the cars. Cars. Check out the cars. Ozzy. When I close my eyes forever. And it all remains the same. Thank you, Sai, for the raid, bud. Thank you, David. Thanks, bud. State the website. Okay. Thank you, engine. I will. When I close my eyes forever. Close my eyes forever. Hey, what up, Michael? That's a great song, dude. Fucking Ozzy. I definitely either held a girl's hand or kissed a girl at a school dance to this song, most likely. Had to. What year did this come out? Guarantee. Definitely played a little bit of hide and go get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, though? A little hide and go get it. Hey, hi, Lemon. Hello, hello, hello. We're just uh, cutting up some herbs for the marinara that we made for this week. And after that, we got to cut sausage. We made our Italian sausage. Well, I made the mix yesterday. Yesterday, I cut up about 65 pounds of meat, got it all ground up, got the sausage seasoned, ground, and marinated overnight. Today, we cased it, cooked it. Now, I just got to cut it and weigh it. Uh, yesterday, we made about 300 meatballs. 
We did about 40 pounds of meat for the meatballs yesterday and about 16, 17 pounds for the sausage today. Got marinara made today. I got a pork butt out there on the smoker that we just went and put some charcoal on. It's got great flavor. We're doing an Italian pulled pork sandwich special. I got some bananas smoked today for the ice cream special this weekend. I got pasta dough made today, so tomorrow's going to be pasta dough and pasta cones. I got to go pick up my order tomorrow, so we're probably not going to start stream till like 2, but first thing we do tomorrow will be making pasta cones, and then after the cones, we'll go into pasta. I've already made all the dough. We just got to roll it all out and cut the noodles. So we're looking good. We've been making progress the last couple days. We got a catering job on Saturday, but I'm not going to start prepping that until Friday and Saturday, the day of the job. I know Wednesday we got to cook off some spaghetti, cook off some penne. Tomorrow we're going to make like a thicker noodle, like a pappardelle. I know I got to get Roma tomatoes cooked. Probably do that tomorrow as well. After I get back from the store. We got a good amount of stuff. That we still have to do for the truck. And then I got the big catering job I got to prep for as well. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Marinara is done. Let's let that chill. Actually, let me get it out of here. We're going to let this chill over here. I can break it down a little bit. Uh, what up, Chef Fun Boy? Yeah, the smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream should be interesting. I'm just going to crumble cannoli shells when I'm scooping it into the cup. Like, I, I, I'm not going to put any in the ice cream just so they don't get soggy. And uh, I'll just crumble up a cannoli shell when I'm plating it. But it'll have our uh, creme delish cannoli cream in it and some chocolate chips and stuff. With the smoked bananas. I did get a, uh, a thing of banana pudding too. I think I'm going to put the banana pudding mix in with the ice cream when I make it. We're going to do that on Wednesday. What, what do you use for your smoker? Um, I'm out of post oak, which is what I prefer. Post oak is like the most used wood here in Texas. Uh, so today I used charcoal and cherry. But usually I use, like, post oak and ash. Um, ash would be, like, my heat wood. Post oak would be my smoke wood. Today, we just had charcoal and cherry. That's a lot of meat. It was. 1988. So, yeah, that was definitely, um, I would have been nine years old. They were still playing that guaranteed at our middle school dances. Probably in middle school at 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that, right? So I guarantee I, I held some girl's hand to that song for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I guarantee I held some girl's hand to that song. Um, I made this on my Mother's Day show, first course. Uh, spring Christini Appetizer. Peach burrata salad. Sounds good. Did you grill the peaches? Uh, main course, roast beef tenderloin with red wine sauce. Classic. Uh, white chocolate and lavender. Ooh, I like that, though. Not classic. White chocolate and lavender mashed potatoes, bud. That's something I've never thought. Uh, buttered green beans. Carrot sticks. Yeah, yeah. Mother's Day cupcakes. Special drinks of lavender. Oh, okay. So here we go. More lavender. Lavender pink peppercorn vodka cocktail. That sounds interesting, too. 
also would have looked cool. Definitely good for a Mother's Day. I dig it, dude. A lot of fun stuff in there that maybe none of us in chat have thought about. Uh, and yeah, did you grill the peaches with the salad or just leave them how they were? Um, post oak, ash, then cherry and charcoal. Yes. Got it. Uh, ash and charcoal are definitely good heat sources, so you're not, like, blowing through all your smoke wood. Pretty easy to get. Um, and then the post oak and, like, cherry or pecan or whatever you got. Those are kind of like more expensive to get, harder to get sometimes, unless you buy like the chips or whatever. And then, um, but even like a little bag of the chips are pretty pricey. So, you know, I'm just using those for the smoke. And using the other cheap wood for the heat or the charcoal. I don't, I don't find that, I love that charcoal flavor, actually. Especially on a burger. Look at this, this thing's rolling. I don't know if you guys saw it, if you're just getting here now. This thing is rolling, dude. That's what we like to see. Uh, but that's going to be my last round of smoke. I don't know how long this has been in. We put this in at the start of stream. Eh, maybe like a half hour into stream. Um, but that's going to be my last round of smoke. Now I'm just going to heat it the rest of the time until the pork's done. It's got plenty of smoke on it. Piece that I pulled off of it a few minutes ago to try. It's plenty smoky. The bananas are already out of there, so those are already smoked. And I got those in the cooler just chilling till Wednesday. Dude, we got Journey now? What is this radio? All cuts? All day? Ah, oh, man. You know what I think of when I hear this song? Um, so four hours of smoke? Yeah, that's plenty. That is plenty. Uh, you know what I think of when I hear this Journey song? It was right when my, um, I mean, I've, I've heard this song my whole life, but when my dad passed away when I was 28, I um, I picked up a third shift job at Waffle House to help pay for his funeral. And uh, Waffle House has a jukebox. And I was working third shift Waffle House, which was the worst shift to work because that's where all the drunk, crazy fights and people would come in. And... Um, Waffle House did not have a lot of good selection on the jukebox. So I played a lot of Journey songs. <laughs> and now every time I hear this Journey song, I think about being at Waffle House. Working. How big is your shoulder? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I would say 12. Bone in, 12 to 14. Ten to ten to fourteen? <laughs> Somewhere around there. <laughs> I got um I got four bone in shoulders and two boneless shoulders for yesterday. For the meatballs and for the sausage. And then two um eight pound beef knuckles. Cause the meatballs get beef and pork, the sausage just gets pork 
and I saved one of the bone-in shoulders out of the four. And then the other two boneless, I just cut up for the um, meatballs. But I had to cut the bone out of the other three, which I hate. But I got them at a pretty good deal, Kenneth. Uh, $1.75 a pound for the bone-in yesterday. And uh, two, 210 a pound for the boneless. So I got about 65 pounds of meat yesterday. Might as well let it cook all night. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be... It, we're not going to be pulling it off the smoker anytime soon. Definitely not on stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be going out there throwing char on it all night. It's all good. It's going to be a fun special Italian-style pulled pork sandwich. Okay, so... I think we did about 16 pounds of meat today for the sausage. Ah, oh, smells so good. Seven. Point zero on the dot. I go for anywhere between six and a half and seven and a half. I try to stay at seven, and I nailed it first cut. Seven. All right, so this pork, the amount of pork that we use for this sausage, uh, we got about like 50 bucks. We got about 50 bucks, maybe 55 in the, uh, in the meat, in the seasonings, in the casing. Smells so good. Which means we need to sell four. Basically, these right here. What up, Waylam? These right here are going to pay for all the sausage today. We just have to sell these. And then now everything else we get is profit. Thank you, Waylam. Have you seen this one? <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> oh, Waylam, I got a question. So... We're going to have a uh, Italian smoked pork sandwich special this weekend. And I'm doing a uh, smoked banana creme de liche cannoli uh, ice cream for the dessert special. What do you think? Have you ever smoked banana before? I've smoked a bunch of shit. Peaches, black blueberries, watermelon. I've never done bananas. I mean, they're done. I'll show you. But I was just curious if, if you've ever smoked bananas before. I'll show you the bananas. I thought it would be fun. They got a lot of smoke on them today. I can pull it through the pack. Hi, Trasha. 
are those eight ounce leaks uh they're about seven i shoot for seven some are 7.5 if you've ever hung out here before when we get an italian sausage and pepper sandwich my big rule on the food truck is i want the meat to stick out of both ends of the bun I want to see the meat hanging out both ends, bro. But yeah, have you ever smoked bananas before? These things are stanky. Woo! These things are stanky, dude. I haven't... I bet they taste like shit. Let's try a piece. But when you pure it all, puree it all up with the creme de liche and the sugar, chocolate chip. It's actually not bad. <laughs> it, I mean, the texture's weird. It's actually really good. Holy shit. I thought it would be horrible just by itself, like putting it in ice cream with the cannoli filling and the chocolate chips and stuff. But like, I I, I thought by itself it would actually be garbage, but that was actually really good. That's going to be a banger, dude. That's going to be a banger. What up, Darth? Here you go. You hungry? <laughs> Darth, how come yours hangs a little to the left? I just held one up earlier, and it was, it, was, it was a straight shot. Well, how come? What's wrong with yours, Darth? Longer link, less, less girth. That's in our future. Well, not the older I get. It just keeps getting smaller. I mean, wait. Dude, I'm nailing the 7.2s. Shooting for 7.5, but I'm nailing the 7.2s. Back to back to backs right now. So, yeah, um, Thrasher, we were talking about 7.2, dude. We can't, you can't stop me. So this is what we were talking about, Thrasher. I've made a couple attempts at a sausage and pepper bun this long, and I just didn't like the result. Why is, like, when my hands are full of shit, especially meat, why does my nose itch all the time? It's only when you're streaming and uh, cutting something with gloves on is when your nose is just fucking itch the whole time. But anyway, we've tried to make some a couple buns this big, because I wanted to have, like, a sausage and pepper sandwich. Not really a challenge, but something like a challenge. So we could get some, like, uh, social media coverage. So that maybe, like, big-time eaters would come to our truck and be like, Dude, you see that food truck in Texas that has the, the, the two-foot-long sausage and peppers? Like, I don't want it to be like, you eat this within 30 minutes, you get it for free. I just want to be known for, like, the guy that has the big-ass wiener for once in my life. You know what I'm saying? I just want that for once in my life. And, uh, hey, car chart. And, and, and uh, the same idea, that same bun that we can use for the big-ass sausage. I can do like a, a 14 ball meatball sandwich or something. How many ever meatballs I can line up in that bitch. And then we were talking about maybe doing, you know, like four of those buns, you know, keep four buns for the weekend. And once we sell out, we sell out. Have it just be like a secret menu kind of thing. Maybe get some of the food people that travel around and do competitive eating to stop by and then tag us. Uh, some big-ass balls, too. Oh, yeah. We just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. I'm still trying to, like, perfect the dough that I want to use. 
or the bread, the bun. But yeah, it that that has been talked about and it's been in the works and it is a plan. You know, the beauty of like making your sausage and stuff like that is you can I can make a, a four foot long one if I want, you know. But, well, the thing about it too, Thrasher, that we talked about. I'd have to cook the bun on this sheet tray. Not this exact sheet tray, but how, how big are these? This is how big the bun can be because how this is the size of my oven. 26. So it'd be a 26 inch long bun. I can't do any bigger than this because it's what fits in the oven. I still think that'd be a pretty big sausage though. 26 inch sausage is worthy of like a food eater to come try. All the ones that have broken up pieces like this, I use for the uh, pasta. And these ones I use for the sandwiches. Now, if we're not selling sandwiches, I, I still use these for the pasta, but then I slice it. If that makes sense. Remember, we only need to sell four of these to pay for it. So all of this, those, and all of this so far is going to be profit. Diagonally in the oven? I can't fit this tray diagonally in the oven. Is that what you're talking about? Or put the bread without the tray diagonally in the oven? Maybe. Are you just using straight up pork butt? Or are you adding jowls to your sausage? Um, I just do straight up pork shoulder. No jowls. On the 300 meatballs we made yesterday, uh, I do beef and pork. Beef and pork go in my meatballs, and then just pork in my sausage. No jowls. Sometimes I'll add, like, pork back fat if the shoulder isn't fatty enough. Uh, you can grind up pork back fat pretty easily, and it's pretty cheap, and you can just keep it in the freezer. When you need it, throw a few in the grinder when you're grinding the meat. See if I can just see how much this whole thing is and then I have a better idea. 1.8. Oh, so we should be able to get two out of this. Perfect. A little more than two, actually. We good. And that is uh, five. We'll hook up the pasta people. We'll add a chunk to each one, each bag. Good consistency on your diameter. Thank you, man. Yeah, I've been casing sausage. Uh, probably since I was like 
that I can remember started when I was five, but like not casing myself. Probably 10, 11. I've been casing sauces for a long time. I know how the meat feel is supposed to feel in my hand, you know? <laughs> yeah, all my recipes are my grandma's. The marinara, the meatballs, the uh, Sunday gravy, and the sausage are all her recipes. Now, I started making them when I was like five with her. I remember she had like the C-clamp grinder, uh, or uh, the C-clamp uh, hand handle grinder thing. My mom gave it to me. I have it in storage. All my shit's basically in storage because I'm living with my business partner. But I have her old grinder, and I remember that as a like a young ass kid. I'll never forget that. And it's cool my mom gave me that after she passed away. Card Shark, thank you again, dude, for the resub, bud. Sorry. I was focused on my meat. Uh, appreciate you, bud. Bad Nova the Jowl Bacon. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good to add to the sausage. Don't get me wrong. I just, I don't put it in ours. Okay, how many did we get? We only needed four. I thought that said b broomstick, Captain Morgan. Wait. Uh, 27, 50 for a boomstick. Two for oh! It weighs three pounds. I wonder where they're getting their bun. Eh, I'd rather home make the bun anyway, but. The old boomstick. We were just talking about it the last couple months because... You know, I, I think it would be a fun thing for social media to get our truck out there. You know, my TikTok is okay. My Instagram is okay. But, like, you know, if we can get some bigger people to come to the truck and try to eat this big-ass meatball sub or sausage sandwich, I think that would be cool for uh, basically advertising, you know? Ask me, think of the lurk. And Card Shark, I love you, brother. Thank you again for the resub, dude. Oh, I saw the picture of the cigar the other day, too, man. That thing was a chonker, bud. You were smoking a chonker. Time is it? Six thirty. I need to message Michelle. She has her uh, driver's test scheduled at seven. Just need to shoot her a message real quick and tell her that she's amazing and she can do it, and I believe in her. She's nervous. I don't remember what it was like to do my driving test. It was so long ago. But also, she, she doesn't speak a lot of English. So she's just nervous about who she's going to be driving with. She can drive. I mean, she dro drives herself to work sometimes. But when I went in there today to grab a taco and see her and give her my lucky coin and my lucky pollo chicken, I could definitely tell she had a lot of anxiety going on. She was nervous. 
I, I told her the thing about driving is you can't drive nervous or defensive. You got to, especially in Texas. You got if you don't have confidence here in Texas when you're driving, you're 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 done. You're gonna have a panic attack, dude. Texas is different. We got 21. Thank you, Aki. I was getting ready to count. <laughs> I got to wrap them all up anyway in packs of uh, six. But thank you. Yeah, I was getting ready to count. So we got 21 total, you said, minus the four that we need to pay for it. So that means do we have 16 profit? Six twelve eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four twenty five twenty four three two twenty one so twenty one is the profit thank you thank you thank you Aki that's good twenty one times fifteen a piece. How much is that? Now remember, you got to add the the sautéed peppers, the marinara cheese to that. But still, what's fifteen times twenty one? Uh, that's a tidy profit mark. Yeah, not bad, right? Not bad. Three fifteen. Ooh, take it. I take it. So then, yeah, it's at least a couple hundred bucks. That's what I like. That's good. That's very good for business. It's good for business. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what. That's what I like. And this marinara, we can get broken down. Because I need this tomorrow. We got to cook off spaghetti and penne at some point. <laughs> yeah, DJ. It's your birthday. <laughs> I do wrap the meat. Yes, I do. Doesn't take much. Wrap. Wrap's pretty easy. We ain't got a lot of work about. We ain't worried about too much wrapping around these parts. Double wraps. <laughs> I do. <laughs> can't be. You can't ever be too safe. Sometimes you got a double wrap out there. You never know what you're getting into. <laughs> Whatever, Kenneth. <laughs> this thing's dusty, bud. It's still put in work, though. It's still put in work. A couple years, at least. <laughs> uh, 
I was gonna dump it, but then it's probably gonna splatter everywhere. I'm gonna go get a ladle. I still need to buy like a big ass ladle. Need like a 16 ounce ladle or something. For now, I use an eight ounce scooper thing. It takes me forever. Usually when it's cooled completely down, there's less spatter, but this stuff's still pretty warm, so there's going to be a lot of spatter if I just dump. Oh, Kenneth, I don't have time to make uh, dog treats this week because we uh, picked up that catering job on Saturday. But I will try to get to them, you know, next week. And I'll shoot you a me message. And I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. It's an inch thick. <laughs> and long. Rude. <laughs> when you're taking the marinara out of this pot and putting it in here, you got to make sure to bring a Snickers because you're going to be a while. They make big ass soup ladles for restaurants. I could use like a pot, I guess, which I've used before. I, I have like a small pot out there I can dunk in here, but. They they literally make like a big ass ladle and I could just four scoop this thing and call it a day. Just need to buy one. Well, I'm pretty happy with the progress. So far, like I said, Friday and Saturday, I'll be working on the catering. Saturday, it has to be dropped off by 1.30, but I'm not going to fire. the. Uh, they're getting chicken parmesan half pan, so I need to fire spaghetti, the chicken, all that, but I'll do that the day of. Um, you know, I got to heat up marinara anyway for the truck in the morning, so I'll just heat up extra marinara for the toss over the spaghetti for their parm i'll use the blackstone up by the house to, so i can lay out the 15 chicken parms um get them all grilled seared or whatever on each side uh i was gonna put a scoop of marinara on each one provolone cheese on each one uh they're getting pasta primavera too so i'll just cook off the penny that morning so when it's done it's already warm um, I'm thinking most likely Thursday while I'm heating up stuff for the job on the truck Thursday, I'll probably start prepping the Primavera veggies and getting everything cut at least. The carrots, the uh, bell peppers, the red onion. I'll just have all the stuff for the Primavera cut. So then all I got to do is saute that all off Saturday morning. Toss it with the penne when those come out of the water. Put it in a half hotel pan and get it in the hot box. It should be good. I'm basically going to be doing the whole catering Saturday, the morning of the job. And then Saturday afternoon, we're going to be at a car show. So make sure you guys check in on Saturday. See what's up with the cars. I can probably fit all this between this and this. It's just going to be to the top, which sucks. I'm not going to be able to walk around too far with that wireless camera, but we might see some cool cars on Saturday. Kyle's going to be with us on Thursday, our help, our new guy, and Saturday. 
I'm probably not going to need them on Friday. Slow, slow job. God, this tastes good. I've been eating this marinara since I was a little kid. And every time, it still tastes good. Don't need this. Thank you, Rockstar. Have a good day, dude. All right, I'm going to message Michelle real quick. You got this, Michelle. Yeah. I'm nervous because she's nervous. She takes Lyft to work and back every day. Sometimes I'll take her home. And she gets to work at like 7 or something in the morning. Imagine taking her to work every day. And home sometimes. Fuck that. What up, LA? Good to see ya. Welcome in, welcome in. She is not in chat, unfortunately. Uh, she's on the way to her appointment. It's good to see you, man. Hi, Hungry. What's up, bud? What's up, bud? All right, cool. So, quick recap, I guess. Actually, let me go turn the propane off because I don't think we need it anymore. Marinara's done. We survived the storms, two big ass storms today. The power didn't go out today. Yesterday it did, though. Um, oh, propane's already off. Perfect. The pork butt in the smokers probably got at least five hours. I don't know. Four hours, five hours, so smoke pork's got a while. Uh marinara turned out great though. Sauces turned out great. We got twenty one orders for profit, which is good. Uh yesterday the three hundred meatballs turned out great. I don't have to start prepping for the catering stuff for another couple days. 
Um, I do got to go pick up my order tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream is probably not going to start till 2. 1, 2. Uh, just stay tuned to my Discord. I always post before I get ready to go live in there. Also on Instagram and uh, TikTok. What else? Uh, bananas got smoked today for the ice cream. We're going to probably make that on Wednesday. Tomorrow's going to be after I pick up my order. As soon as we get back, first thing, we're going to make 12 pasta cones. I don't know if all 12 will work, but uh, we're going to make 12 pasta cones tomorrow. And then I got all the pasta dough made today and the other day. So tomorrow, after we make pasta cones, we'll roll out all the pasta. See how many we can get. I'm going to do a thicker noodle this week. We've been doing cavatelli the last couple weeks. So uh, I'll do a thicker noodle this week, like a, almost like a paperdell. Um, So if we concentrate tomorrow on just pasta cones and pasta, probably going to be a long stream tomorrow by the time I get done rolling out all the pasta and cutting it and doing the cones. And if we don't start till like 2 or something, I mean, we'll probably be streaming till like 11, 12 tomorrow night. Um, it just depends. We'll see how our progress goes. And then Wednesday, we'll be load the truck, do all the last little bit of prep stuff, get the uh, smoked banana creme delish cannoli ice cream working. Uh, also mess around with the special. We might pull the pork tomorrow. I might just leave it in the cooler all day tomorrow and mess with that on Wednesday because I want to take the jardinara that we have left over from the Italian beef a couple weeks ago, the pickled uh, stuff. And I kind of want to blend that up a little bit and then add it to the meat after I sh pull it. Um, I know we got to cook Roma tomatoes, which we'll probably do those tomorrow while we're working on pasta cones. Um, we'll get all the Roma tomatoes done. And I think it'd be doable Wednesday to get the spaghetti cooked off and portioned, the penne cooked off and portioned, all the last little bit of prep stuff, and get the truck loaded. I think that's doable for Wednesday. And then Thursday, we have a job. Friday, we have a job. Saturday, we have a job. And a catering job Saturday, so... Thursday, I'll probably start working on the veggies for the pasta primavera on Saturday. Friday, uh, I'll work on a little bit of stuff for that, but probably not much. And then basically, I'll have to throw it all together Saturday, and then Saturday afternoon, we'll be at the car show at fri uh, 4 o'clock, so... I'm not trying to... <laughs> Hey, it's all good, LA. I appreciate it. Yeah, her uh, her test starts at... Oh, she messaged me, I think. Her test starts at 7. Ah, she did. She says, gracias. Um, so that means she's either already there waiting or on the way there. And I, I just know she's nervous, so... Um, all right, let's figure out where we're going to go hang out. Um... Let's figure out we're going to go hang out, and I think we're looking good on prep. We, we've, we've had a solid few days, so I feel pretty good about it. <clears throat> Tomorrow's definitely going to be a longer one to get everything done, so... What was that, Hungry? There's a lot of people on right now. Shit. Thank you, Scrub.
Thank you, Lumen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go hang out with uh, Seth. He's always a fun-ass time. That way I can listen to some music in the background. What's rig faceplant? Oh, God. Yeah, he's getting ready to play a song right now. This community gets him to do, like, a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, anything Lumen? Ah! <laughs> Car Shark, thank you again for the resub. All right, let's go hang out with Seth Drums. Show him some love. Uh, him and his community raid in here a lot. Um, And I just appreciate him. I appreciate him so much. And it was a pleasure to get to meet him a few times. And he does a lot of charity stuff as well for GCX, so... Uh, let's go show him some love. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so happy the internet worked out with all the windows closed and locked up and all the shit. So, uh, I feel we've had a very good couple days, even though yesterday's stream didn't work out too well. We got a lot of progress done for the truck. So, um, I'm feeling pretty confident this week and I'm very happy that we got the catering job and we got Kyle helping us this weekend. So, um, yeah. Yeah. The next giveaway is at 5,500, which will be another bracelet. Um, and that unlocks Kyle and I wearing a kilt while we cook, uh, which would be pretty funny. So, bye, Aki. I appreciate it, guys. And if you guys are on kick, stick around. Uh, I'm going to say what's up to Seth, and then we'll go figure out where we can hang out on kick as well. No creeping, chat. <laughs>